Take two. Take two. Young Benno over there. This is the <laughs> second time in a week that he's not turned the audio on. We get sacked next week if he carries on. I know. What happens when you get shit in it? You shit at your job, you get hooked off. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's, that's going to be a problem, I think, with, with this new generation. Massive problem. I was talking about it with my old man earlier. My dad didn't understand the term woke. Mm. I tried to explain it to him. This is months ago. And uh, he still didn't get it, bless him. And uh, then today he said, ah, I don't understand what woke means. I said, ah, good. Good, he says, they're fucking terrible, aren't they? I said, yes. <laughs> yes, they are, yeah. I said, the problem is, everybody thinks it's fucking, it's, life's amazing and all the rest of it. I said, and you go to work and you don't perform, you're out. It's not the real world. I think, um, I think this, I'm not a parent. I'm not slagging any parents off as such, but it's like, I think they could do a better bloody job, some of them. Like, well, probably a lot of them. Because they, they, they're bringing them up, wrapping them in cotton wool, telling them, you know, the participation medals and all that. It's false. It's bullshit. If you're not there on time and you're not performing to the required standard, right, so fuck off. Just hit your job's gone. And it's going to be a massive shock to, I think, the, the kids that are going to go into the world of work in, to, in the next 10 years or so. That's, that, that, I, I genuinely think that's going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, I've had this conversation a few times with people over the last couple of weeks. It is my fault and parents of my generation's fault. We've given our kids everything, yeah. phones at five. You, and, and, and there's like nothing wrong with that. Nope. Because you want to give, I suppose you want to give everything to the, your child that you never had. Mm -hmm. But also society... Like, we never had phones until we were... I mean, I'm, I'm 38 end of month, so we didn't, I didn't get a phone until I was, like, 16 cause they weren't... They weren't a thing. No, no they, they weren't, weren't manufactured. And that were it. Um, so, but, but, like, now, that child will be able to work a tablet, work a mobile phone before they can ride a bike. If they can even ride a bike. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I know some 17, 18-year-olds that can't ride a bike. They need lessons off the drug dealer mates because them drug dealers, they can ride bikes. They mate. can fucking ride oh, a bike, mate. steal someone's handbag yeah, and get through traffic, and get through traffic yeah, without yeah, falling yeah, off, yeah. pulling a wheelie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And do a jeweler's on yeah. way past. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Fucking brilliant. Anyway, it's Rob, it's the <laughs> frustrated farmer. That's right, frustrated farmer. And you've brought me a bag full of meat. Yes, we have. Because I'm a carnivore now. We well, fuck the veganism off, <laughs> as we already spoke. Yeah. But no, we were, before Ben decided he'd not turn the microphone on yeah. and it was recording, we were talking about, I became a vegan at lockdown, enjoyed it, went yeah. to becoming a vegetarian after I broke my leg in 2022. Tw was it 2021 maybe? Anyway, whatever. And then subsequently my knees were getting worse, arthritis and, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I've been a tennis coach. So watch this guy, Sean Baker. Sean Baker on Joe Rogan, and he was saying he recommends to all of his patients before they go under the knife for surgery, try the carnivore diet for at least a month, maybe two. Yeah. And he was saying that the vast majority of them don't come back. He then got taken in front of the medical council and said, you're going to lose your license because you should be operating on these people. And he's like, look, first and foremost, I'm a doctor. And yeah. if I can heal these people or cure them without going under the knife, that's what I'm here for. So I thought, what have I got to lose? So last day of November... I messaged him and I says, right, because he keeps calling me zesty for being a fucking vegan. <laughs> <Like yourself. laughs> and he keeps saying to me, he's like, you are not an alpha male. You cannot claim to be alpha if you're eating fucking vegetarian stuff. We're going to Nando's and he's getting a big, massive load of, and I'm getting the quinoa salad. <laughs> and so anyway, I phoned him up. I says, I'm going carnivore. He went, yes, about time. And... I'm now, what are we on, 8th today? So 37, 38, 39 days. Brilliant. And my knees feel amazing. Fucking hell. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I've played tennis properly for a, a few times. Me and him have had races up and down the alleyway <laughs> here a couple of times. Uh, had one relapse with it, really, but I think that was after New Year's Eve when I had too much to drink. I won't call it a relapse, though, is it? Because it's, it's food. It's not a drug. No, yeah. with my knees. Oh, with my knees, knees oh, right. weren't oh, fucking yeah. terrible. Right. Oh, so but I think that was the booze in on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And everyone says alcohol's really inflammatory. Right. Um, so stop boozing 1st of January up till now and um, feel, feel great, feel brilliant. Yeah, booze is... Um, it's weird that it's legal. Because I think it's... It wouldn't it? be legalised if it was invented today. No, no, no. No I chance. 
I don't, it's not the worst drug, but it's fucking up there. I think it might well be. Yeah, I think, I think it being legal probably makes it the worst drug. Mm. And so available. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can get it any time you're bleeding one. Mm. I think, what is it, half ten in the morning? You know? See if you can just bring that. Sorry. Just, just yeah. go on, get it in there. Pretend you're noshing it off. There we go. Fucking we fucking know, we don't want go. none of that. <laughs> but no, I think alcohol, like, it, it being so readily available, yeah. and it has such devastating effects on the mind, I'm, I'm, not an, I'm not an educator or an intelligent man, in, 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 and I can't, you know, speak sort of on any medical terms, but from my experience, you go out and get absolutely leathered on a Friday night, when you're in your 20s, you're fine. You get in your 30s, and it's like, do you know what? I'm still going to be in a mess Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes. On the downer. Yes. It's just like such, such a low feeling. Yeah. And it, you're lethargic. You can't be asked to do anything. And when you've got something to do all the time, I used to go to pub every Saturday. Yeah. Every Saturday, nip down my local pub, four or five pints, get myself. Up. Fucking hell. I get up Sunday morning, I think, oh, there's something to do. There's yep. always something to do. Yeah. And I don't want to carry on feeling like shit. Mm. Don't get me wrong. I went out New Year's Eve. Got absolutely oh, I, mortal. Uh, I, was, I was in a mess. <laughs> I was in an absolute mess. You know what I mean? I, I was... Well, I'm glad... If, it, if I didn't get home, it'd have been a bloody hospital job, I think, like. But you know what I mean? you got to have a bit of fun, though, every now and again. A little blowout every now and again. Yeah. Um, which is fine. But again, yeah, you feel low. You feel shit. It takes you three, four days to get over it. You're less productive. And, um, yeah, I think anybody who's... Anybody who's a bit delicate with the mental health, stay away from it. Yeah. Stay away from it. It massive. ruins you. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's fucking terrible. There's only two drugs that can kill you going cold turkey. Heroin. Nope. Alcohol. Yes. And benzodiazepines. Ah. Uh, yep. I They're the only know. two. You have to wean yourself off of it. So if you're, you know, if you're a, I mean, I've, I've got people close to me that have, have, have drank minimum eight pints a day Every day and more at the weekends for 30 years. Fucking hell. Yeah. If that person went cold turkey, they die. Yeah. Fucking and benzos hell. as well, so, which, which, is, which is crazy. But yeah. They prescribe you, that, not they, you know what I mean? That's a they prescribe that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah doctors doctors give it out like, like candy. Fucking hell. But yeah, it, it's horrendous. I mean, it, it almost feels as though I heard somebody talking about it a while ago and I was like, yeah, that's a bang on description of it. Alcohol steals your happiness from the, the day after and the next day. Mm. And it brings it all into the present while you're there. And then you've just ran out of juice for the next couple yeah, of days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it's just awful. Yeah. But you're obviously, being a farmer, you, you can't be in a fucking state like that every day, can you? you? I mean, yeah, you operate machinery, you're around animals and, and all the rest of it. like, and, uh, and not only that, I genuinely love my job. Yeah. I love work. I love work. And work saved me. Work, work saved me. I was in a very, very dark place a um, number of years ago. And it lasted for a number of years. And it was only work that got me out of the shit. Like, I lost it, I lost it all. I lost everything. Um, through drink, um, uh, a drug, um, which was... Uh, I was, yeah, mental health issues coming back from Afghanistan. I was in the military 12 years, so I did 12 years in the Royal Navy. And, um, yeah, we left because one day I had a mental breakdown. I didn't know what it was. This was back in 2014. Whilst you were in serving? Yeah, well, uh, yeah so I was on HMS. So what were you, a Marine? No, no, you're I was in the Royal Navy. Royal Navy. Yeah, I got attached to the Royal Marines right. for biometrics. Um, I was a biometric support advisor out in, uh, in the Nez North District. In what Holland the fuck Province. does that mean? So basically we had these cameras, they were called T-bed cameras, and you lifted it out and it took an iris scan. Okay. And it had a fingerprint scan on it, and it was a little stylus, and we'd go around the local population, tell them that it was like a census, or tell them that uh, it was information for a doctor, and we're gonna help you out, and all the rest of it. And we basically, over the years, built up a, um, a watch list, effectively. So the software was, um, let, me get, let me get this right. The software was British, the hardware was an American uh, bit of hardware. Mm -hmm. um, and we'd go out, fingerprints, iris scan, what village they were from, what, yeah, he looks, he looks about 40, he'll be 30 then. They didn't age well, do you know what I mean? The mm. Afghans, they don't age well. Uh, and yeah, we'd write all this information about Downham. But within 30 seconds of taking the iris scan, it'd tell us whether they were on this watch list. So 
a number of years before I got to Afghanistan, they started taking the IEDs out of the ground and taking the DNA fingerprints, so cigarette butts in and around the area, lads would package that up, um, rip the wires off of the teeth, DNA fingerprints that are on the actual IED itself, and then a load of ex-coppers were out in torch, Torchlight, which is in Camp Bastion, which is basically a science lab they set up, and they'd just analyse all the fingerprints and data and put it onto this watch list. So we had levels one to six, they all meant different things. Um, and my job out there was to train the lads to use these T-beds. All the guys from the army, the marines and everywhere else who got these T-beds in, in my area would bring them to me on a Friday. I'd plug them in, that'd get sent to GCHQ. They'd send that back out to Afghanistan uh, on the Monday morning. All the cameras would get updated with the new numbers of however many thousand people have been captured that Scanned, week, because yeah. they scanned that week, should I say. Uh, the SF were using them, so like I, I w I'd go out to different camps in and around the areas, putting up little vegan satellites, um, so like the SF lads could download their own data, to save a certain number of people having to come to me with the, with the cameras. So yeah, that was my job out, out there. So also, if there was a firefight and there was a number of dead bodies, they'd want they'd want people to get there within an hour, so they can still get before the pupil dilates, apparently. Um, right. And also, if there's arms and legs, put them together. The, the judicial system in Afghanistan didn't understand or believe in DNA. They wanted a pic. If you've got a body and a picture of drugs and weapons, ah, he's guilty. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was like, that's how they dealt with it. So if you've got a guy alive and they were like, you caught him with a load of whatever, just get a picture with him, right, he's locked up, done. That's, that, that was it. Wow. Uh, so that's how, that's how they dealt with it, because they didn't understand um, DNA, biometrics and stuff like that. How far long back was this? It's 2000, I went out there in 2012, uh, did a winter tour, came back in 2000. So it wasn't, it wasn't 1945, <laughs> <laughs> it was recent, and there's no DNA, no, there's, there's no nothing like forensics, that. nothing no, like that? nothing. Wow. So, so that, that's just the way they dealt with it. So with the, with the bodies and stuff like that, the lads would need to get to the bodies within an hour if they could put the bodies back together, and then we had a different kit called a... Uh, a, a different kit anyway and you basically took a blood sample and you know don't make any wounds lads just take a blood sample if there's blood available and, and things like that and then hopefully we could tick off the bad guys so i had a laptop fucking hell, i had an interview to get the um, defense vetted dv cleared Fuck hell. it's basically you empty your, your soul into a jam jar and hand it to a 50 year old woman after a two-hour interview they ask you everything. everything and that's to get cleared up to a certain level so you can be exposed to this laptop with every terrorist on it. Like, and so I had that, and that's what I was plugging these cameras into and uploading, downloading data from UK back to Afghanistan. So you were essentially trying to check off from the database whether one of these blokes that had died well, was, was on this hit yeah, list. Yeah, and we'd allow uh, certain levels. I'm not going to go into... Um, I think I've, I've gone past me me uh, security clearance now and all that, but I don't think I can lie. <laughs> and I'm no, I'm no, I'm no lie. I don't want people to say, oh, look at this guy thinking he's the bigger man. No, I'm not, mate. I, I, I was just a wheel in a cog who just did as I was told. Of course. And that was it. Um, but um, I can't remember what I'm going to say now. Um, we are talking about you, you were essentially ticking the names yeah, off so the list. Yeah, so that was right. So, and you were like, so there were different the, levels. The different levels, you had one through six. They all meant different things for different... Um, severity of, of the person and, and, and what their sort of level was within uh, Al-Qaeda or the Taliban or whatever else. But like we used to, the British, we used to rent a PB, a patrol base, off a, a cousin of a Taliban guy. <laughs> like that's, I, I don't know which, well I do know which PB it were, but that's what I was told. <laughs> that's what I was told. So it's like certain levels of, uh, on the watch list could come and work on our camps. Because we had them do, they'd do our laundry for us. They'd work in the, the galley or the cookhouse, depending which service you were in, um, and all stuff like that. Um, so known terrorists? Not, not, not known terrorists, no. Cause known the, baddies. The, the, the lower levels might have just been uh, handbag snatchers or something like that, or they might have had a disease that could get you on a watch list. So we knew if you've got a certain disease, you were like, say, I don't know, level six. Well, level sixes were allowed on the on the camp. They were, yeah. 
they'd have served the time through, the, and it had been a petty crime. It had been nothing, but you know, now they're good and all the rest of it, blah, 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 blah. And, and then if you was connected to, but not involved with, you was another level. So he's got family members maybe. Who, who are would, who, X, who Y, would, and Z. Yeah, yeah, uh, and that sort of stuff. Like, and, and we'd have level sixes work on the camp, um, which, was it fine, was it not fine? I don't know. Um, that wasn't for me to decide, like, but you went everywhere. Even on, even on, the, on the base, you were, you were armed everywhere. You went, you went for a shower, you went for your rifle or your pistol. Your bed, you had your rifle underneath it, your pistol at the side of you. Like, it just, I was, on, I was in the FOB Price, or renamed HMS Price when the Marines got there. Like, um, they changed everything, sort of. They took over from the army that were running it. Well, it was a Danish camp, actually. Uh, the Danish were running it. We had the Bosnians as security. Did you? Them, them guys were fucking nuts. Like, are they next level? Oh, they were brilliant. They were brilliant. They because we had the cameras on the on the gate of the base. Yeah. So we had and we had um, shoot. Uh, we had firing ranges on our on our base. Like, um, so we had the uh, Afghan police. They'd come up for training. We had, we had called Barma Lanes. So the army guys that were on our camp would teach them to use the Valens, the metal detectors, mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. So you had like the Afghan army or the Afghan police turn up, and I'll never forget this guy was battered. He was about 60 odd, 70 odd year old, and he was fucked. So I get a call, and they're like, can you come down and take an iris scan and all this stuff? Oh, they searched this guy and found a little rap on him and that. I'm like, right, right, yeah, no worries. And these Bosnians, they were like, to the, to the rules, that was it. And it was like, one in, one out. Guy bleeding to death, don't care, he's not in the queue yet. Like, and that was it, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the sort of, they were nuts. And this guy, he was about, because they're very tribal, the Afghans are very tribal. Uh, and this is the point I'm getting to. He's like, um, he had this little wrap, foil wrap on him. He said, oh, what's that? He's like, it's baking powder. I was like, mate, you're not, ma you're not making very big cakes with that. <laughs> it's not even a fucking cupcake, pal. You know In the middle I mean? of the desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it, it, but this, this is it. This guy's battered on hashish or heroin yes. or whatever. And he's got a loaded AK-47. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, it's, and he's 60 odd. His eyesight's not going to be great. It's a recipe Never, for disaster. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sat there thinking, fucking hell, I'm glad they've took his weapon off him. And then um, the chief of police of that fucking tribe or village or whatever was about 16 and started kicking the shit out of him like because he'd embarrassed their police force or whatever. Like, And he was smashing him with the back end of an AK. And we were just standing there. Watching let, it. Yeah, yeah let it happen. You can't get involved in that. That's the, but he was only chief of police or he was, I don't know if chief of police, but he was high up in, in, in the sort of rankings. Um, because his father had a good, his surname was good. So that was it, the respect was there, and it was a tribal thing, and, and that's how they work, and you're never gonna be able to change that. No. That's, that's ingrained in their society, and that's how they want to live, I think. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it was an odd place, a very odd place. So yeah, so I come back from there, I was fine. Uh, and then, yeah, 2014, I was on HMS Defender. Brilliant ship, fucking brilliant ship. I, honestly, that was the best ship I had in the 12 years I did. Best ship, <coughs> and um, good friends on there. And then yeah, I woke up one morning, just burst out crying. I was did like, you? What the fuck? I was scared. I was like, what's going off here? This is not me. I'm this big bullish lad and all the rest of it, like you know. And uh, I was supposed to be going down the shooting range to every year, and annual fucking test or whatever it was. And they're like, yeah, you're not good down there. I was like, yeah, no, it's all right, chief. I'll make sure. I I never ever wanted to let anybody down, and I always wanted to do my best. And mm -hmm. I was in I was in the military for, for life. And then I left the ship and they said, right, I'm going to see a doctor this afternoon, whatever. I was like, yeah, all right, sound. And they said, right, go home, take these tablets, and you'll get a phone call off for a nurse. I'm like, sound. By the time I'd left the naval base and got on the M27, I got a phone call off, uh, I think it was Gay Dougie, I think. I was glad I shared a cabin with him. Everyone called him Gay Dougie. <laughs> His name was Dougie and he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> was like, as simple, simple as, as that. that. Yeah. And uh, he's like, mate, I've been told to empty all your lockers out, put them in bin liners, and um, yeah, your bed's getting taken tomorrow by somebody else. I was like, oh, that's, that's how much they value me, is it? So then that just like started me off again. And I was like, fucking hell, I'll never forget that, because I just thought, you wankers. Like, you're not even giving me a chance to just come back maybe at the end of the week if I've had a little break or whatever. And anyway, this, this nurse phoned me up. And she said, um, right, stop taking your tablets. I want you to come down on such and such a day, but bring the tablets with you. Right, yeah, sound. So then I went through, uh, I think it's CBT. Yeah, cognitive so, behavioural yeah, therapy. Did, yeah, did CBT. Um, 
it's just the hardest thing I remember. I remember saying to her, like, so when will I be all right? She said, you'll never be all right. You'll never be the same again to what you were before. And that broke my fucking heart. I was like, why not? She said, you won't be. You, everything's changed. Your mind's changed. The chemical imbalance will always be there. You need to learn how to manage it. And it fucking destroyed me. I was like, well, no way. I don't want to be that. I want to be what I used to be, you know. And um, so, yeah, so I basically got a job at the careers office in Sheffield because uh, I just wanted to go home. I worked out the 12 years I'd served. On average, I'd done nine months away every year for 12 years. Like, I just I volu used to volunteer because I loved it. I'll go away. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. And yeah, it was, it was my job. I loved being at sea. I loved being a sailor. It was fucking brilliant. But towards the end, I'm glad I got out when I got out. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, I went home, lived on my own in a little bungalow. Sat there looking at four walls then, on my own. And I've had a piece of paper telling me what to do for the last 12 years, every hour of every day, that uh, no one's here to tell me what to do. I was like, what, this, what am I going to do? So um, my parents had a farm. Uh, or, so I was like, right, we'll go and do a bit of farming. And, what, and I got a job with my brother-in-law um, in the building industry, uh, rendering. So I started labouring for him and stuff like that. Um, and then we had, unfortunately, we had a bit of a fallout back then. And um, so I set up on my own. I thought, oh, this can't be this fucking hard. I'll set up on my own. So I set my little rendering firm up and all the rest of it. And unfortunately, I employed the wrong sort of people. Um, yeah. And I put a little line of white powder in front of me one day. And that got rid of every bit of fucking anxiety, every issue in my mind. For that split second, mm -hmm. for that split second, mm -hmm. oh, fucking hell, it's all right now, I'm all right now. And it, it just went from there, over a three year period, got to the point where I needed it every day. I need it every day. Uh, COVID hit, well, I more or less lost everything. Uh, and COVID, I shut the business down in COVID, as well, you know, I fuck this. Then the house burnt down. <laughs> So I'm doing an extension on my house and I'd run out of money, right? Because I'm fucking playing these stupid games with these idiots. And, uh, and I'm like, fucking hell. So house burns down. I ain't got no fucking insurance, mate. I'm oh, like, you're fucking man. joking here. So I'm like, shit, you're having a laugh. Oh, that was it and all. The insurance had run out of my van. I didn't fucking know. Some woman had run into me. It was her fault because I didn't have any insurance. I got fucked, lost my license. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, fucking hell, this is any worse, any worse. Like, yeah, and then the house burned down, no insurance, all the rest of it. I'm like, right. How the fuck did the house burn down? So it was all exposed at the back. I'd had to, um, I put an extension out on the back, like by five metre, maybe four and a half metre, whatever. Because uh, it was a little bungalow, and I wanted to extend out the back and into the loft, remortgage. I borrowed a load of money uh, back when I was fucking mentally stable. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, that money went, that money went. Footing. Uh, it dropped nine foot into the garden, so the footings cost me an extra 10 grand than they, they should have done. Then there's, there's no gas central heating in it, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, right, that's gone. It's all right. We'll save some more money up. But everything, like the cavity was exposed, and I reckon that water got into the electrics and all that sort of stuff. Bastard. Well, bang, up she went. But yeah, it wasn't no insurance. So yeah, basically just fucking handed that back to the bank, shut the business down because COVID happened. Nobody wanted you around their house and all that. And do you know what? It was a sigh of relief. I just went, because oh. I'm away from the idiots. Like, I'm not going to name who they are, but they know who they fucking are if you ever see this. Like, um, yeah, so, um, and it was at that point, I'd not been to the farm for years because I was so distracted from normal life uh, doing fucking cocaine. And um, I'd stopped boozing and I was just doing that. Dry sniffing? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was... It, I'd done it that long. I'd sit in my house and do it on yeah. my own. Yeah. Out the way. And it was... If I, never have a, if I never had any money, I didn't have it. It was simple as that. But I'd get up every day and I'd go to work and all the rest of it. And I wanted to stop for ages, but it wasn't until I just went, you know what? Fuck them lot. Fuck them lot. It was two weeks before Christmas. I just fucked them all off. What are we going to do? I said, you've let me down enough. Fuck you. you know, there's no more work. That's it. We're done. And, um, and yeah, it took me a while to adjust my life around to... That becomes... Your life becomes so, so, so absorbed and, and everything within that. 
mm-hmm. circle and society of people. Mm-hmm. And that was never me as a person. Never me. Never touched a drug in my life until I was 30 year old. Do you know what I mean? Fucking crazy. And then I went on a three year binge of it, you know, and it fucking ruined my life. And that's why I'm massively against it. I fucking hate the stuff. Um, if, if people want to do it, you, you crack on. You crack on, but no. But I, I've got an addictive personality. I could sit and think, sink 10 Red Bulls today, I'll, be, I'll do another 10 tomorrow. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So yeah, so that, that all went off. Uh, my brother, luckily, me, my, my brother and I <clears throat> had sort of seen each other and had a chat and all the rest of it. And I said, look, is there any jobs going? Can, can, you get, can, I, get, can I have a job working for you? He went, yeah, 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 no problem. So I started there in January and then I think they COVID it in the March or something like that. Yeah. So then we were off work then. But I started back going to the farm every night. So when I say work was my saviour, was I'd do my day's work, rendering, and then every night I'd go up to the farm and I'd just work till like half eight, nine o'clock. So this farm, was this a family farm? Yeah, was family it? farm. They bought it in 2006. Okay. So we were butchers before. Yeah. So I grew up as a, uh, a butcher, really, from like eight, eight, nine, ten year old. So, um, my dad gave me a knife when I was ten, I think. And uh, yeah, I started butchering. And... Uh, Loved it. I've always loved the trade. I've, I, I buzz off like the agricultural industry. I absolutely fucking buzz off it. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this uh, uh, and this selling. I like selling stuff. I've, I've always enjoyed it. And um, and so yeah. So we did that up to like eighteen. I joined the military. Twelve years. Come out. Um, I always when I come home on leave periods and I'd go and help all the butchers out and things like that. And uh, parents sold the shops and wanted to retire. Then they bought the farm in '06. Um, so yeah, we've got a little farm up in, in Derbyshire Dales. It's fucking, it's amazing, and it, it saved me. It, it honestly saved me. It, see, I'm worried now. I'm sat here worried about people watching this, and I've talked about what I've done in the past. Yeah. Um, because that wasn't me as a person. No. Um, so I don't want no judgment on that. If you judge me, you're a shallow prick. Um, so yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Simple as that, isn't it? Like, but you know, it's. I'm not that person now. People do change and people can change. Yeah. Like, um. And what, what people have to understand, I mean, I've, this is now about my third hour, fourth hour, sat in front of somebody that's been in wars. Right. So I did a podcast on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, with a guy called Adam Sommers. Right. And he was in the Iraq war. He had the world record sniper kill for a while, Fuck 859 yeah, yeah, yeah. meters. Until Craig took it off him. Yes, <laughs> yes. But he was fuming when that happened. Yeah, I bet he was. <laughs> and, um, you, you killed somebody further away. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's crumbling through mental health. Can't but he's it. talking <laughs> exactly the same way as you have. Mm. That was a coping yeah. mechanism for a short period of time because yep. I didn't have any other coping mechanism. Yep. I was solely alone. And these guys who put their arm around you, not physically, but like, come on, mate, you're all right. You're with us. Oh, have some of this fucking stuff. Yes, yeah, well hey, good. Hey, fucking hell. Have a right laugh. Fucking hell. Yep. Next minute, you're fucking sat there like, when's it coming? When's yep. it coming? Yep, yep. Turns so into many a fiend. Yeah. Uh, you're a fucking horrible person. But, but, when, but when the other thing that sort of resonated and stuck with me from what you've just, you've just mentioned, which it, again is what Adam was talking about, was it takes six months to train you to become a soldier. Hmm. And then five minutes to get rid of you and put oh, yeah. you back into the normal world. Oh. And you're saying, I'm sat there, four walls. I've been told what to do every hour of every day for 12 years. He's saying the exact same thing. He says he came out. He didn't know about budgeting, money, no. tax, filling out this, what form to file, this, that, and the other. Oh. And, it, it, and, and his big thing is... These, these soldiers need rehabilitating. Massively. Prisoners get more rehabilitation yeah, yeah, yeah. than a soldier. A soldier is a dangerous person. Yes. They're trained to be a dangerous person. Thankfully, they're trained in such a way they know how to control their aggression. Mm. And, yeah, they do. They need... Re- I went... Can't, they gave me, So I had, like... So I left the military, and, I, and uh, I'd had all the counselling and all that sort of stuff within the military. Fine, brilliant, lovely. You leave... The option's open for you to have it for six months after you leave. Yeah. Great stuff. Lovely. Did I take it? No. Reason, why? Why didn't you take that? Why didn't you take it? Because, to me, in my head, the problem was the military. I've now gone. I should be all right. Problem solved. Problem solved. Why is it? Fuck. 
And then I'm saying to myself, I don't want to go to the UK, uh, uh, an NHS doctor, because I've got to start the whole process all over again. Everything I've spoke about with the CBT and all that, that was, she was, Faye was brilliant. She was a mental health nurse. She was fucking charming as well. <laughs> and she was fucking brilliant. And it's back to your childhood and all this sort of stuff and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't want to have to go through all that again with no. an NHS doctor. It's painful. Yeah, it's horribly painful. So then I was like, fucking hell. I ain't doing that. And then I think it was my mum one day. She come down my house and I was just, I was just like sat rocking, like just fucked. Not been asleep for about two weeks. Or if I had, it only been like an hour. And that wasn't through the drugs. That was prior to me being and finding that fucking thing. That was prior to that. I just, I couldn't get in a routine of sleep. I remember sleeping under my bed for two days. Thinking like, fucking people are going to come get me and fucking shit like this. It was like paranoia. paranoia and my anxiety. I don't get as much now, but I create, I got like a stammer. So if I'm on phone, say, say I don't know, phone bill needs paying or you need to pay a bill or whatever else. Me on the phone, it's like I've got a little bit of it now. I can feel a bit of anxiety now, like, because I don't know, maybe there's one or two cameras about or whatever yeah, else. Maybe. Or maybe because I'm, I'm revealing, I'm revealing all really, and it's, it's, it's fucking hard. Hard work. It's fucking hard. This is the internet, it's, you know. Hopefully it goes everywhere. Like, um, but... But yeah, so the anxiety, me, me right arm used to shake. So I used to get around this big barber jacket and I'd put my arm in it. Because this arm just used to permanently shake. And I'd, I'd got this stammer whenever I'd got to deal with like a personal admin sort of issue. Mm-hmm. Whether it was insurance for a house, which I didn't have, so it weren't that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking car insurance or whatever else, do you know what I mean? And, and, and I, yeah, I created this stammer. And, and every now and again, I'll... I'm all right now with, with them issues, but like I didn't want to walk into a shop. We only like one door, stuff like that. Like you, you can hyper yeah. vigilant, they, yeah. they call it. Like, and I personally, I saw, I saw absolutely fuck all out there compared to some boys. Them, them infantry lads, them snipers and all this bit. Fuck me, them. They, they. I saw nothing compared to them. Absolutely nothing. Like and and. Fuck me, I take my hat off to them lads, like, yeah. um, really do. Um, so yeah, so it, 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 it uh, they gave me uh, that was uh, my mum picked me up. She took me down to the doctor's. I'm a fucking quivering mess. And the first thing he did, he stood up, shook me hand, and said, "Thanks for your service." Fucking hell. First person to say it. Yeah. I went, what the fuck? That don't happen in Great Britain. He said, "Thank you for your service." I skipped all the queues for uh, the shrink and. Got your counsellor. Two days time. All right, sound. Went to this counsellor, lovely chap, all the rest of it, and that was to help with my adjustment to civilian life. Yeah. I went to two sessions. I said, mate, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not mugging you off here, like I said, but you've got no experience of being in the military. I'm not slagging you off whatsoever. I said, but this isn't helping my readjustment to civilian life because you haven't experienced a military life or at least a life distance away from your family. I don't know, you've never worked offshore or whatever else. Oh, well, I, I, I didn't quite know, what, what, but he'd just been a counsellor, which, and it was great, and he, and he was understanding. He went, I, t- I said, I, I'm taking somebody's spot up here. I said, I don't want to, t- if, somebody, if somebody can use, an, use you better than, than I and get more out of you than I can, they may as well have it. And so that was the end of that line. Then I went to see the shrink and he took me on some fucking big tablets or whatever else. <laughs> that just <laughs> Sent you off your head. Fucking mate. Did it? Mate, I was just uh, it was like everything was like that. Just wob everything was just a wobble. I just could not focus on anything. I don't know what the fuck they were. I don't know what I couldn't read it. I was like, <laughs> 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 what's that? So anyway, a few weeks later. So it was your hand that was wobbling before. Yeah, now yeah, every fucking yeah, thing's every fu- wobbling. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I could not focus my brain just could not focus on a task at all. Couldn't focus on the task. Like, <sighs> fucking mental. So then I, I phoned him up. I was like, mate, these, these. I'm, my mum walked in one morning. She's like, were you drinking last night? I went, no. I was just wobbling around, pissed up. Like, as if I was pissed up. I said, oh, you've not, you, you ain't got enough of it in your system. It's worn off. Get another in you. Fucking hell. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> so I just chucked him. And I went, you know what? You have to do this shit yourself. Pull your big boy pants up and get some fucking work done, boy. And that's what we did. And then we just got to work. And we still just got to work now till eight, nine o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> and then I discovered social media. Not discovered it, 
But it was COVID. Everyone started in COVID. Everyone, everyone started in COVID. Everyone started social media in COVID. Fucking lockdown one. My social media in COVID was Tinder. Was it? <laughs> because I'd just split up from the missus. Right, literally yeah, a few yeah. months before. Right. Been in a 17-year marriage before that. So... Shagging with the masks on, like Tinder, <laughs> Tinder wasn't a thing. So all of a sudden, I've got all this time on my own. My kids are fifty percent of the time away yeah, from yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. You sat there. You're not paying any bills because you've got fuck all to pay. Your mortgage is being paid for. So I'm on platinum Tinder, platinum Hinge. Got I've got super likes, super swipes. Getting to the yeah, mate, got, it was like being well. in a candy shop. <laughs> well, no, funnily enough, no, because you couldn't meet anybody. Yeah. So it was perfect. It yeah, was just yeah. chatting and talking and, interacting. and this and that. Yeah, interacting. Yeah, and, that, and that's. I think that's what. I sh- Looking back, that's probably what I lacked, I, like interaction with yeah. actual normal people. Because all I'd got was a. I was trying to run this business, and the first few years of it was fucking really good, like really good. Um, it was when I ate that fucking shit. Yeah. Bosh. Yeah. There was the down, downward spiral, like. Um, well, that's enough talking about that bullshit. I fucking ate it. Um, but yeah, it was hard. But then it was like, right, we'd hit, we'd hit fucking like I was still coming off of that shit at, on the run up to sort of COVID. Yep. Bang, lockdown it. I was like, oh, fuck, what we're we gonna do? Got, I got no money. I, I had got, fuck all, and my old man, and my old dear, tightest people you'll ever meet in your life, and I'm fucking grateful they never gave me anything. Because you'd have been bang yeah. on it. Yeah, they have been bang on it. I think probably drugs are the only thing that you could get during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get a haircut, but you could get a fucking get bag back. of coke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, I, and I was like, I was, I, I'd been coming off it for quite a few months. I'd gone from every day to like a weekend then every other weekend and things like that. Then it got to the point where I was like, you're a fucking mug. You don't need to be doing this anymore. You've got to want to fucking stop that shit. Mm. Otherwise, you're never going to stop. You've got to want to get off it. And I, I, I just started hating the feeling. I'd hated the feeling of it for such a long fucking time. And COVID giving that break to say, I ain't got to fucking interact with all the people that I used to interact with. I can now just go to the farm. And that's what I did. Uh, but I had fucking no money. I'd, I'd been working for my brother-in-law for a few months, but everything I was earning, I was fucking waxing it on that shit at the weekend. And I always stayed true to my word. I'd never do it while I was at work with him. And I worked Monday to Friday with him, and then Friday night, fucking waxed a lot. Bang on it. Just bang on it. And that was my sort of escapism from it all. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to mug him off or anything like that. So yeah, so we went to the farm, and I got fuck all. My dad paid me £10 a day. <laughs> to go and feed all round and, and, and fucking basically run the farm so he could sit at home like so, but the, the house isn't on the farm so the house is in Chesterfield the farm's out in, the, in, in Dolly Dale um, when they bought the farm they couldn't afford the farmhouse and the four acres at the side so we just bought all the land and all the buildings <coughs> everything else that were there so yeah so I'd go up in the morning work all day they'd give me a tenner for me fags like and, wow and that was it and then I'd, where it were there was a fucking dodgy character um, during the fucking bad period, needed to get rid of some block paving. And it had only been down like five years or whatever. And it's like, mate, I don't want to pay a fortune to get rid of block paving. Can I tip it at your yard? I went, yeah, yeah, of course you can. I'll use it for hardcore in whatever. I'll down the farm tracks, it'll fill holes in. And I'd got like six and a half thousand blocks. So I sold them 15 pence each on Facebook, mate. <laughs> I sat there all day stacking pallet of fucking block paving just to get some money just to get some money and I managed to get like seven, eight hundred quid out everywhere. Wow. And that's basically, then I went, right, I'll fucking buy something else, sell that, buy that, sell that and just try and fucking build my way back up and then I've always done that sort of stuff. Yeah. And um, and yeah, so that's, that's how we sort of got out of it and, um, and uh, yeah, then we got back into work when I think we had a month off, I think, for COVID, I think it was, some people had six weeks, we had a month Back Felt like I had about fucking six months off. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Nobody wanted to go back, though, did he? No. Everyone's got anxiety going back into office then. Yeah. I think 90% of them were fucking putting it on anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck that. I've been doing fucking Zoom calls in my underpants. Fucking yep. With dog licking my balls. <laughs> like, for the last six months, whatever. <laughs> if you think I'm driving Sheffield... <laughs> to sit in there and pretend to like everybody again. You and have a meeting on a meeting and yeah, a meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fuck that. Fuck that, mate. It changed the work environment. You know, I've never got for so much peanut butter. <laughs> 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 so you started your social media then? Yeah, so yeah, so, started, so yeah, I was getting wound up. I've always, fuck it. Not the general public as such, but 
the fucking idiots in society, like, and, and hypocrites. <laughs> fucking hypocrites do my head in. So, like, there's a, there's a green lane that runs through, like, side of our farm, right? I have not seen hardly any of these wankers walking before. All of a sudden... <laughs> everyone's walking. Everyone's fucking walking. Professional walkers. Yeah, I wanted some Yorkshire puddings for my teammate. They'd even sold out a fucking plain flour because everyone was baking with the kids. <laughs> kids had never baked in their life before until COVID. <laughs> I mean... Uh, fucking dogs didn't know what had hit them. No. Oh, fucking hell. I know we're going for a walk. Not another fucking walk, please. <laughs> yeah. We're fucking fed up of this. You couldn't like, buy a dog for love and money. No. They were selling it for 20 grand a pup and <laughs> yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Every fucker every, wanted every, a dog. To go get a fucking dog, you know what I mean? Bags of dog shit, hung on bits of twigs and all. That's my favourite, that. Fucking. Why pick it up in the first place if you're going to hang it off of a tree? So these wankers are Christmas winding me up. decorations. Right? I started ranting in tractor to myself, like, fucking sat there. I'm like, chain arrow in fields. I'm like, yeah, fucking prick again, blah, blah. I left the gate open. <laughs> uh, fucking, one, one look like, make you look like fucking Brian May, fuck off. You know what I mean? You've got hair down here, his kid look fucked. And he's like, fuck, even the dog was fucked, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, mate, just go home. Just don't be. If I got family that, I would not want to be seen in public. <laughs> don't, don't mate. Get a fucking out. Covid's no excuse not to have a haircut, mate. That I've been cut for t- can ten years. Don't mate. You, you, put, you put your dog on a lead. I'm always polite the first time. Put your dog on a lead. I've got sheep over there, cattle, calves, whatever. You're not telling me what to do. <sighs> I was like, mate. I've asked you fucking nicely. Don't let me verbally abuse you. You're not telling me what to do. I says I'm fucking telling you. Put the dog on a lead or I'll shoot the fucking thing. <laughs> what? I said, I'll shoot it. I said, I'll go and fetch bullet gun. I said, I'll drop it. You would not do that. I said, well, fucking try me. So I said, like, you know, fucking try me. Anyway, dog got put on a lead and he shouted some profanities at me. <laughs> and uh, I thought, I've got to fucking share this. Like, this is fucking, this is haste this. And so I started like, because I was like everybody, Soaked up with the COVID fucking propaganda. Yeah, to start with, to start with. Yeah. And so I'm like, why aren't people listening to what they're actually telling people to do? I'm a bit of a stickler for the rules in the military. You do that, you do that. Yes. You do that. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Of course. Right? And and that's all. You know. So it's just fucking do as you're fucking told. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not hard. You're not allowed within five kilometres of your house. You clearly are, mate. You've got Netherlands written on your number plate. Well, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> that wasn't the case, but you know what I'm saying? You, you, you always fucking know when they're a townie, don't you? Like they're dressed like a twat. Red Sock Brigade. <laughs> fucking sticks. <laughs> Marching. Yeah, yeah. They've got them in Abergavenny, fucking whatever it is. What about the fucking Peloton riders on the oh, bikes? Mate. I bet you love them on your track today, don't oh, you? Fucking hell, right. Ants can walk in single file. <laughs> yep. Cows can walk in single file. Yep. A man dressed in spandex, sat in a cock-shaped seat, can't ride in single file. What's fuck? You got a body like a melted welly. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Just, I, I'm no fucking model, like, you know what I mean? It looks like I've swallowed a turtle. But you, my friend, you got, it's like a drop lasagna. You're fucked. Get off the push iron, go and do a fucking cryptic crossword out the Daily Mail or something. With some fucking half moon glasses. What, what sort of wanker who's also got a straw out on his parcel shelf and a windbreak in case they go to the to the fucking chip shop at Whitby? <laughs> you know I mean? Same wanker. <laughs> Isn't it? It is the same wanker. Yeah. yeah. And I reckon there's only fifty of them, but they get around everywhere. Yeah. I don't get the dressed in like all sky gear and that. Yes. Like, mate, yeah. I, I get like football shirts and shit like yeah. that, and I was like, why have you bought it two sizes too small for you? <laughs> you bought it two sizes too small for you, man. I don't, I've never understood cycling job, to be honest. Have you ever right. seen those videos where you've got some bloke in his car and he just fucking rams the bikers? Flaying <laughs> 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 off. Fucking, fucking hell. Yeah, and it made half of, uh, but it's like, the, it's like they're entitled. Yes. It, and it's like, yes. Uh, and half of me, I, I want the potholes repairing, but I don't. I don't, because I'm open one end, twats, Falls fucking down one. buckles yeah. wheel, straight over the top, <laughs> into oncoming traffic. That's probably a bit far. But the thing is as well, is that their entitlement is sort of overriding their safety. Oh, yeah, You yeah. know, you're on a fucking bike, and there's cars coming, and they're like, fuck this, I'm, a, I'm allowed to ride two abreast now, it. the law says. They're not fucking bothered about the safety. No, oh, no. Fuck it Just no. because that says so, it doesn't mean you're going to be safe at all, mate. Not at all. You're on a single track road, and you've got... A tractor coming the other way. Yep. With, I don't know, 18 ton on the back. 
the grain, straw, whatever else. It's not easy to stop one of them. No. They're not built like a fucking HGV truck. They will not stop straight away. They won't. They just won't. And, um, yeah, they wonder why they get fucking knocked off, killed, and things like that. And I'm not saying it's all the cyclists' fault. Every sort of, you know, every incident's fucking on its own, isn't it, really? But it, it's... it's the, they think morally they're better than everybody else. Like an EV driver. Mm. Well, I, I'm, I'm not in... You're not going to fucking sway me either. I hope you don't drive an electric I don't car. drive an electric vehicle. Fuck, uh, up the combustion engine. You know what I mean? It's just the EV thing. It's like as soon as you buy a Tesla, you become a twat. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? It's that, it's, they, it's, they want the attention. Oh, bring it. You know what I mean? Look at me. Look how fucking morally great I am. No, you're not, mate. You know, there's kids down cobalt mines for that. Yep. And copper mines for yep. that in South Africa. Yep. That's the truth. That is the truth. You can't recycle the battery. No. Nope. There's a, a fucking ache, I can't remember how many acres it is now, in France, with all these little, like, fucking Igo-type fucking cars. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper to scrap the car and buy a new one than, than, than rip the battery out, put a new battery in, because they don't know what to do with the leftover battery or what's knackered. And it's like, what are we going to do with all that? It's the new face mask. Yeah, oh, 100%. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And it's... <sighs> It's a badge of honour. It's a, yeah. the social social justice warriors. Yeah. Nobody can charge it up. I've even seen I've even seen people that have got fucking a little petrol generator oh, in yeah. the back of the car to charge the electric charge car the up when they've run out. out. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you struggle with anxiety, don't buy an EV. No, like, no. And it, it's just the, what annoys me about it more than anything is the way they put it across. Like it's such an amazing fucking thing, and I'm not. I'm not against climate change, but there ain't enough evidence. For me, we've only been keeping records for about 180 years. Uh, yeah. So how the fuck can you tell me what the weather was like 125,000 years ago? I, 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 I'd like to see physical evidence. It's an educated guess at best. At best. Then there was a post, actually. It was on uh, it's like some Australian geezer, and he's like, they obviously, they're working pounds as a measurement of it down in Australia. And he's like, um, Australia emits so many million fucking metric pounds or tons of fucking whatever else uh, of CO2 into the atmosphere. One tree takes so many pounds of CO2 out of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. The amount of trees in Australia is said to be that. Therefore, there's, a uh, you know, it, it, there's not as much... Uh, he's taking more CO2 out than actually we're emitting and that's not into taking, taking into account the mangroves and all the other plant life that's drawing CO2 nature's found its own problem I'm not saying I agree with that statement or disagree with that statement but I think it's a fucking very good point no well, one's taking that into account if you look at satellite imagery from NASA the earth has never been greener no it, it, that's right and it's the greenest it's ever been it used to be called global warming mm -hmm. Then the earth cooled down consistently for two years and they changed it to climate change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But these people who, are, without getting into politics, they're fucking far left. They're far left. Yep. They, they're very educated people. But they're fanatical. They're fanatics. And they're brainwashed. And they will only listen to that one point. And if it deviates from what they want to believe in, they just scream and shout to the high heavens and... and all, you can't reason with them. You no. just cannot reason with them. No. Nope. Like, they're fucking lunatics. That's what they are. They're towing right. a narrative and an ideology and anybody that... They don't have a rational conversation with people. No, they can't. They can't. They, and again, pretty much like that, that vegan I encountered before Christmas. You can't, you, you can't have a, a conversation with them. They just won't... They just Can won't. you turn that off? That screen... You have? Oh, no, I thought you said, can you turn off? No, 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 I was just going to say, because I can normally see that out of the corner yeah. of my eye, and I'm thinking, he better be recording this. <coughs> oh, it's just fucking had its day. It's been on that long. It's been on that, that long. There we go. Yeah, she's back on. Yeah, because I, I just thought, if he's not recording <laughs> this, he's going to get a vegan yeah. sausage shoved okay. down his neck. That's another point, right? <laughs> uh, fucking, why on earth... I don't want to eat meat. This is not me, by the way. It's not fucking me. But I want something that... But I want something that tastes like it, looks like it, 
and I'm going to call it the same thing and just put vegan at the front of it. Call it something totally different. Call it whatever. I mean, no one eats spam anymore anyway, or you know what I mean? That's World War Two shit. Same as corned beef, really. Yeah, I like, like corned beef. Oh, I like corned beef. A couple of slices of corned beef. Right. Yep. But anyway, call it that. You can have them names. Yes. Like, yeah. Call it spam. Whatever yes. you want. Yeah. Don't nick our fucking names for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking <laughs> arseholes. Like. It's just all marketing, though, isn't it? Yeah. It was people jumping on the bandwagon. Uh, Marcus, have you seen the have you seen the price of this Beyond Meat? The shares they've oh, absolutely plummeted. Yeah, so I think. Who was it now? I can't remember. Some famous fucking dude off the telly anyway. He was like, yeah, the amount of um, vegan uh, food uh, industry, uh, well, businesses, should I say, the amount of businesses that have shut in the last sort of 12 to 18 months is fucking unbelievable. Like One, because it's far too expensive mm -hmm. for people to mm -hmm. maintain on that diet. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing is, it's been a bit of a fad. Everyone's yes. gone... Yeah. Yeah, I jumped on the bandwagon. Do you know what? It's not that fucking great. Get me a bacon sandwich. You like that? You know I mean, it's, yeah. But, but yeah, I don't like it when they. I don't know. They, 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 they've no idea about the the, the farming industry either. No. Um, and they don't give a shit. No, they won't. Do. And and it's like all oh, all dairy bulls get killed. They fucking know. Why would you kill? Why would you just kill a dairy bull? Because it's a bull. There's a market for it. It's called the supermarket. Supermarket meat. <laughs> It's totally fucking different to the meat I sell on frustratedfarmer.co.uk if you're watching. Hey, <laughs> I like it. We've got to get a plug in there. Website. Absolutely. Yeah, it's launched tonight, the website. Has launched. it? Yeah. Let's have a look at it. So frustratedfarmer.co.uk. <coughs> on Shopify. Is it? Yeah, so I'm Come intelligent, on, technical man. intelligent enough to know I can't build that site. <laughs> <laughs> well, I probably could, but it wouldn't be as good as what my cousin's done. Um, so what, 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 we'll have a look in a minute, but what, what is it about? You set, you're selling yeah, you, so your meat products. Going back to sort of my little story. Of Who's that handsome bloke on there? Fucking hell. I'm not up there yet, am I? <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> so going back to like, so yeah, so we was in the building industry for like 10 years. It's been wet as fuck. It's been so wet this year. We've not earned any money. In rendering, you can't apply it when it's going to be rain the next yep. day and all that sort of shit. Yep. So I'm stood there in the field with, with me use. And um, I'm thinking, what can I do to make some money? I've got this, I've got Carlo with me, Romanian lad who works for us. And uh, you spelt it wrong, Ben. You've put the frustrated farmer, which might. F R U S. You've put F. Fru frustrated. This is guy who's in education as well, isn't it? What the fuck's going on? There he is. Here we go. Here Welcome to well. the Frustrated Farmer Butchery. Yeah. So this is launched today? Yeah, we, we've got some... Uh, we've Put got that fucker out of the way. We've got some pictures missing, but I need to get it up and running. Come on. Um, so, so yeah, so we've got beef, lamb, pork at the top. Then we do meat, um, like meat packs, 100 quid, this, 100 quid, that, or whatever else. There's a full lamb and half a lamb. Uh, so you can purchase them nationwide delivery from today. So a whole lamb's 190 quid. Yeah. How, how long would that last a, a sort of a family? How, is that, that's it's that's a, lot. a lot of food, It's a lot of meat. It? You've got like 15 chops in there. Look, you've got four lamb steaks. I cut the legs in half. The shoulders are cut in half as well. It all depends how you cook it. Yeah. It all depends how you cook it. And yeah. I think that's missing as well. Uh, with the, There's been a, a, a couple of lost generations where everyone's gone to the supermarket. Mm. Everyone's bought it in a fucking packet. Mm -hmm. No one's cared to know where it's come from. With what I'm doing, I'm only selling British meat. Yeah. Supporting British agriculture. Yep. And I want to sort of, I don't want to say I want to educate people because I find that quite, I don't want to find, I don't want to be patronising to people. No. But I want to just try and... Re-educate. Re-educate people. And I'm, I've got a guy who's a, he, he likes cooking. He's a bit of a chef. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's TikTok, he's like, uh, I cook amazing meat, but take shit videos of it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And he's got seven or 8,000 followers and that. So I've asked him if he'll write us some recipes. Yeah. And then we can put that option up there so yeah. people can, can then be like, oh, stewing meat. What do people do with stewing meat? Well, I'll have a recipe for that. So you can, yeah. you're not having to leave the page. You can get your recipe, print it off, whatever you want to do. So there's a nice piece of topside there. Look, I've just whipped off. Boned and rolled sirloin. That's a particular favourite of mine. That's this one here? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I bought you earlier on. Bit piece of rib of beef. Uh, you got the, silver side. Yep. Got a lot of pictures missing. Um, 
But it's only gone up today. But it's only gone up today, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to wait because January is a slow month in butchery and industry. Is it? Yeah, everyone's spent up at Christmas. Of course they have. It's a Every, slow month for everything. Everyone's it, got the pictures for Instagram with all the fucking presents there. Spent a fortune on them and all the rest of it, so they can look fucking amazing. I tell you one place that's not quiet in January. Go on. The Doctor Surgery for antidepressants. I, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, and the they're, divorce court. They're making a killing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And the divorce court. So, so yeah. So we were in butchering. We were in building trade and all the rest of it. Oh, like I say, I've always, I've always kept my hand in with butchering since I've been doing it since I was like eight, eight, ten years old. And um, here we weren't earning any money. And Carl, who Romanian lad, been here seven years, really hard working kid, fucking brilliant, um, and all the rest of it. I was like, this guy's going to go and get another job, because I was self-employed for my brother-in-law. Mm-hmm. So. I, I didn't go to work, I didn't get paid. Simple as that. And I was on price work. So there's a building, rent them in that building. I pay X amount per square meter. Yep. When it's done, send me an invoice. In the meantime, I've got to pay all the diesel for the van and pay the wages for whoever mm-hmm. I have with me. Mm-hmm. It was a good deal. We were on a good deal. When it's not raining. Yeah. All it did was rain. So I stood there thinking, I need to make some money. Blah, blah, blah. I've always been, since I started earning money again, I've, also, I've always been very, very careful. Yeah. I've never, I'm not, I'm not rich, but I'm not on the fucking bread line. He says in his uh, Stone Island top. <laughs> hey. And looks like rather a nice watch on the wrist. <laughs> on, He's one. always been really careful. <laughs> always been careful. So, yeah, he'll fucking make me, make me embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> so I, saw, I, I did a post on, on Facebook, mainly social media. Like, it started, uh, yeah, just ranting about people and all the rest of it. Built a following up. Got shadow banned for 12 months. That did fuck, yeah, did that, you? That fucking, on Facebook? Yeah, that fucking hurt, mate. <laughs> I lost thousands, mate. Thousands. Were you getting paid from Facebook? Did they pay you? Yeah, I get paid off Facebook now, so I get ads. Do you? Yeah, so I got, I've got 50,000 now. I got shadow banned at 26,500. So they literally had just really started getting monetized. And then they, I called somebody a twat on my personal Facebook as a joke. Like, fuck off, you twat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Lad, I know. Boom, took down. I didn't know it took me down, right? So I'm starting doing videos and videos. My following's going down. And I'm like, what's going, else on, going here? on here? But I'm not that savvy with the old fucking socials and all that. I yeah. can put a video on, do a live. That's about it. Yeah. As in going into the depths of Facebook to learn what's going on, I just went, oh, fuck it, be all right. Head down, working. It weren't until October this year, it likely turned the light back on. I was only getting two to 3,000 views a video. Boom. They'd switched it back on in October, back up to 70, 80, 100,000, 200,000, 400,000 views. All my money started coming back in. So you're getting fucking no money every month to getting like four grand a month, three grand a month, two, hundred, two grand a month. It's like, fucking hell. Fuck, why didn't I question this earlier? Oh, well, it's done with that. Do you know what I mean? Well, head down, arse up, let's get some fucking videos done. So it was in October, it was fucking raining again. Put a post out, who wants a lamb fully butchered up? 180 quid, come and collect it from Chesterfield. Sold 12. I thought, that's fucking sound. Shit, I ain't got any lambs. <laughs> <laughs> and then it got use. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. Right. Put it up. Uh, let's get down to my, I bought some fucking lambs off a lad I knew. Um, and then week after, we did like five. I went, right, I'm just going to do it every other week because obviously I've still got a job. We were getting days in here and there in between, back on rendering and stuff like that. Then I sold 20 lambs, then 22, 25, 27. I'm like, fucking hell. So I bought a fridge van. I thought, I can't, I can't, like, people can't pick these up out the back of a plasterer's van. You <laughs> 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 I mean? It just fucking can't happen. <laughs> so I, I bought this little Mercedes Vito van. Um, fucking hell, it's 14 year old. It's, it's, it's sound, it's only done 100,000 miles. It's fucking sound. It'll be sound foot weekend, that'll be done. And um, so yeah, so we sold 25 lambs consistently for about six weeks. I was like, fuck. Then he's like, oh, have you got any beef, mate? You've got any pork? I'm like, yeah, I don't, like, I don't want to miss out on the sale. Yeah, no, mate, I'll get you that. Yeah. I'll get you that. I'll get you that. Started buying beef and all the rest of it. And my mate's got a poultry farm. So it was like 700 turkeys at Christmas, so many hundred geese and all the rest of it. I was like, Can I, you're not using your room. You're fucking, it's, it's mint. It's a big prep room with all the fridges in, fucking sinks, everything. No, mate, oh, can I rent it for a couple of days a week? Yeah, no problem. So I'm going in there after work. So I'm finishing rendering at like four or five o'clock, dropping Lado off. Going home, showered, change, back in cutting room, like on a Thursday night, up to like 10, half 10 at night, butchering. And then I came to an agreement with my gaffer that I could have Fridays and Saturdays off, but I'd work Sundays through Thursday for him. And then we just got that fucking busy. I ended up saying, mate, I said, I'm, 
I'm going to have to pack up. Like, <laughs> fuck it. To your mind, he went, well, if that's what you want to do for the future, that's what you want to do for the future. And we've got that many orders in it, and it's just been collection only from Chesterfield, so I just fucking meet people in my, in my fucking little fridge van with all the orders in the back and all that sort of shit, and I fucking, I love it. I absolutely buzz off it. And then, so it's all, I bought that van, and then everything else, it's just funded itself. So, like, I bought a sausage machine. Then I bought sausage table, mincers, mixers, fucking new knives for Carly. So Carly was come from building, he's now butchering me as well. So he's like, he'll do it, he's grafter, he'll do it yeah, for work. Yeah, he's he's fucking, yeah, he's fucking, you got to watch him, like, but he's, he's a fucking good lad. And, um, and yeah, so we've ended up spending just under 20 grand on, on kit, just to fucking kit this room out. I'm like, fucking hell. Could do it a shop, really. <laughs> like, but that's a lot of overheads. So I'm yeah. just trying to, we've set this up. January is quiet in the industry because people have spent up. So I thought, well, this with me followers on Facebook and, and TikTok, this will hopefully broaden my fucking customer base. Um, we're charging delivery because we're not bullshitters. Like I don't, I don't bullshit nobody. Anybody who says if you spend over X amount of pounds, I'll give you free delivery, they're not. They're shorting you on weight, like, or they've put the prices up. They're putting it up to take it off. Don't be a fucking mug. I'm, I'm being straight with you. I'm going to charge you 15 quid, but I'll send it anywhere in the country. Yeah. Right? And you're going to get a quality, locally reared produce. Mm -hmm. That's what you're getting. Mm -hmm. you, back to your dairy bulls. You don't want to milk them. You don't want milk, no dairy bulls. It's not good for you. Right. <laughs> so what It's a whole different oh, line of milk, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Joanne off the council estate and you're into that. Salty milk <laughs> yeah, could be right. a new delicacy. So what do they do with the dairy bulls? They do. They bring them up. They bring them up and they'll go into Sainsbury's finest range. Will they? Yeah, they're going to Tesco's finest range, whatever they are. Uh, I've seen a farmer on TikTok, he's like, this is Sainsbury's finest range, and he's farming on a big scale. And I, send, I, I never comment on people's videos, because then wank, if, if it's a negative comment, I just think, you're a tosser. <laughs> uh, if I get to that point in my life where I've got to sit and watch a video, not like it, watch it to the end, and then comment, and then comment yes. book me in in Switzerland. Yeah. I don't want to be here. Let's like, go. You know what I mean? Let's get off the planet. Fuck this. Done. Yeah. So I sent him a message saying, Matt, I'd never, I'm a farmer. I never knew that was Sainsbury's finest range. He went, yeah, I know they're very average, aren't they? I said, yeah, I'm a, I'm a livestock farmer. I'm a beef farmer. My cattle are so much better than that. He went, yeah, I know. But what do they do with all the dairy bulls? They put them into the supermarkets. And they'll castrate them, probably castrate them, turn them into steers, bollocks, same thing. Um... Yeah, that's, that's what you get with your supermarket meat. Or it's been flown in from fucking Brazil. So I did a, there's a, there's a guy on, on, on Facebook, and I've actually phoned him up. He's a butcher. He's a really fucking nice chap. A really nice chap. And he's a carcass traditional butcher like me. There's different types of butchers. There's butchers and then there's slicers. Okay. And they just open a bag up. Yep. What's come from a processing plant. And they will slice that meat up so it looks great in a window. And they'll sell you steaks and, and things like that. But you ask them to break a body of beef down into its primal cuts, they fucking shit themselves because it's a hell of a lot of money to fuck up. And they'll not know how to do it. That's fine. If that's all, that's great. But don't make out you're something you're fucking not. Anyway, this guy I'm talking about, he bought a pallet full of these Brazilian fillets beef, like full fillets, selling them for like 35 quid. I get it. There's a market for that. People want that. That's great. My fillets, which were twice the size of it, are coming in at like 120 quid. And that's the best I can do. But that's British beef. Mm -hmm. The traceability on what I'm using, it, it's, it's literally within 10 to 15 miles of where I'm kicking it out from. And that is it. And, and it, it, it's, it's why British beef is so good. There's a tag in every, every, there's a tag in every cow's ear. Yeah. Each, each animal has a passport, every, every bovine animal. And horses as well. They'll have passports. No, there's no fucking picture on it before anybody starts. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking had it. I've heard it all. Right. But within that... You'd be able to get them to fucking stand still, would you, yeah, for the picture? Yeah, yeah. Come here, little prick. Like, <laughs> let, me, let me take your picture and castrate you. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, so there's traceability on that. So we know where it's born. If that's then being sold on, if I sell that to you and you're down here and I'm up there, whatever... You'll put your little sticker in, so your address, sign it, you've received it, blah, blah, blah. You, sent, you found it up and you sent it in for killing. There's a problem with it. It's got, uh, God forbid, TB or something like that. Right, mm. where's that fucking come from? Right, we're going to go to his farm and we're going to the farm where it's born. 
and we can isolate them areas yes. and, uh, and control disease. And so it's made British beef so fucking safe and so good. It, it, it's the, it is. It's, a, it's the world leader in, in, in beef. Is it? Yeah, it really is. Is it? These Brazilian cattle... Because it really had a bad name, didn't oh, it, back in the up. 90s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had a, it had a terrible a name. A bad name. But, but from that, it's become the best. Yes. And it really has. Yes. And you can... But these Brazilian fillets, they're cutting the rainforest down to build feedlots for these animals. And then there's not a fucking blade of grass inside. It's just they're pumping. They're just feeding What do they fit grain and stuff like that? Is yeah, it? they'd be all soyers like... We feed them grain, corn, barley, rolled barley with proteins in and things like that. But So if you give... We can give our animals antibiotics if they've got infections and stuff like that. But there's a withdrawal period on that. So we have a medicine book. We have to write down everything that's, that animal's been given. There's a withdrawal period, 28 days, because it's had pen strep or whatever else it's had. It can't go into the food chain for any human consumption. Same with milk as well. If any dairy cows have any injections through ill health, that milk gets put in the bin. It still gets milked, yeah. but it gets diverted off to another direction and it gets binned. It just gets put down the drain, done. Because it can't go... And that's, that's another wee reason, like, you, you don't know what you're buying. If you can fly something from Brazil and it'd be less than half the price of something that was reared in your area, it's not going to be great, is it? No, th th no, it's no. It's, it's not going to be great. And, it's not, no. uh, and we're, not, we're not fucking robbing people. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. We're, we're not... The, the markup I've got is not... It's, it's good, it's, it's, it, 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 but it's not, it's not fantastically fucking amazing where I'm going to be retiring in a few years' time. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, we're earning money, that's right. Yeah, great. Well, that's what we're here to do. But also, I want to provide a, a fucking really good product. And I want to educate people, re-educate them. The shit you're getting in the supermarket, there'll be preservatives in it as well. It's got to come from Brazil. They're like, they'll, they'll like, they'll, it's like fucking flash freezing it. And it'll, it'll, with nitrogen, gases and all this. So you can, you can pump gas into meat, which will preserve its life and stuff like that. Fly it over here, or they'll freeze it and... And then there's sort of like a, a quick microwave on it. It'll defrost it. It'll go in and all the rest of it. And, and all, there was a video, actually. Uh, I think it was it, one supermarket, one of the cheapest supermarkets. I don't want to get in fucking trouble, right? No. But some, some, some tart bought a fucking piece of meat, like she gets home. Oh, I bought two kilos of, of beef here. Husband's <laughs> like, that ain't two kilo. So he gets his fucking scales out, bathroom scales. <laughs> 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 gets his bathroom scales out, puts it on, and he's like, okay, now it's only one kilo. So he goes back to the supermarket. I said, mate, I've picked, I've picked this up wrong, blah, blah, blah. Can I get another one? Well, how do you know it's only one kilo? He says, well, we ain't got any scales here to, to think. He says, don't worry, I brought mine. Puts his scales down, puts it on, one kilo. Another one out of there, another kilo. Everything was one kilo, and they were selling it as two kilos, double the price. But the kids who are loading these shelves don't know anything either. Of course not. They've got a fucking ball ring in, blue air. Yep. They don't <laughs> want to fucking be there. No. Do they? Do you know what I mean? Seven pound fifty an hour or whatever yeah. they're on. You, you can't expect them to want to give a shit. No. Right? They, they, they're treated like fucking idiots. They're going to be an idiot. Yeah. And, and and so so yeah so that was all over the internet as well. But yeah, it, 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 they don't know what they're putting out. I don't think half the time. It's all from big processing plants. Like and um, yeah, so any vegans that are saying dairy bulls are getting shot, they're not, because they're going to supermarkets. Like <laughs> same with any efforts that don't make it, they'll be even even more outraged if they knew that. Oh fucking hell, yeah! We're actually eating yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. Actually yeah. eating them. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, hell. yeah so and, and some people might say, oh yeah, you're talking bollocks, whatever. Fucking sound. Go look it up. Go look it up. Like I might be wrong on one or two little things, but I'll not be far away from the truth. I'll not be far away from truth. Makes me laugh when you're saying about you've got a real butcher and then you've got a slicer. Yeah. So I used to work in Tesco's when I was, what would I have been? <clears throat> 18, 17, 18, 19 for that, maybe that three years. And during that three years, I did everything in the store. Yeah. So I started off on produce or the tills and you went into the coffee shop and I did the cheese counter and whatnot. And then for some reason, I ended up on the fish counter. Yeah. Was I ever trained to do anything on the fish counter? No. Was I bollocks? <laughs> and I remember one Sunday afternoon, some blokes come up and there's a great big 
fucking shark or something. Like a th- <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. What was it? A fucking Monk fish or something. Salmon or a yeah. trout. It was a big silver fish. Yeah. And he's gone, I want that, mate. I said, yeah, no worries. And he says, can you fillet it for me? <laughs> fucking what? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, I can. Come back in 10 minutes and I'll have it done for you. So I go out the back. I'm just fucking hacking away at this salmon. Like, like, fucking Alsatian no had done it. I've got no clue what I'm doing. Fucking cut the head off. <laughs> cut, cut, the, cut the fins off. And there's guts in there. I'd never been trained. I fucking packaged it all up for him. It never came back. He's he, probably he dead. Was, <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the crazy thing as well was, <clears throat> I used to work late Friday and Saturday night. So I'd work till like 10 o'clock Friday and Saturday night. And then I'd go up the nightclub straight away. Fucking hell. And I stunk a fish. fish. <laughs> the lads thought I was a fucking celebrity. <laughs> His fingers smell a fish. Where's he been? He's the fucking man of love, bro. Uh, you want him to smell like it freshly real, cut grass. It, That's it, what you want. <laughs> it was real fresh. Real, real fucking fish. Fucking hell. But yeah, yeah. So, no, so you can believe it. No, yeah. not, a, not, a, not even five minutes of training. Mm. It was... Right, there you go. I'm, I'm lucky. Crack on. I'm lucky we've got these platforms, right? Because, like I say, I'm just a fucking... I'm just a... A northern fucking farmer, like just making a few people laugh. Yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah, and then running a few quid out on it. But now I have. To, if you go back to me early videos, fuck me, I lose my head, man. I, I go on about Greta and fucking all sorts of shit. I was but watching one as I went to take my daughter to work, and you were there was some car parked in your oh, way, yeah, some yeah, little so Italian car or something. Yeah, you're yeah. absolutely going <laughs> off on one. Oh yeah, so that had um, that did that was TikTok. So that was TikTok. Yeah, yeah. so three point three million that got. Did it? Yeah, but that was before the beta program. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fuming, didn't earn a penny. Yeah, like, I didn't earn yeah but it don't matter because as soon as you go on the beta program, you don't get 3.5 million views anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no you don't. No. I, was like, I didn't know about this, um, uh, what did you call it? That um, RPM. Yeah, I didn't know anything about this RPM. Yeah. That's a fucking 29p. Is I mean, it? Yeah, I've got to get some serious views to earn any money. Yes. I think I've had money wise out of TikTok. Since that beta program thing, because I don't do gifts, right? I fucking hate. I hate it. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't. I don't know how to turn them off. I don't know how to turn the gifts off. Genuinely, I am not fucking savvy. No, I don't either. I'm like some people. Oh yeah, just turn your gifts off. If you were, I I don't know. I don't know how the fuck you do it, mate. No, you just click live and just go and chat. Is there anybody who gifts me like in the lives? I mean, I'll fucking ban you. I say that. I I say. I I don't don't want your money. I don't want your gifts. I've got two jobs. I work fucking hard. Right, and I'm a proud man, and I am not going to come on here and brainwash you no. to think you're part of a team. Fuck off. No, no, no. And like, man, it's manipulation. Mm-hmm. It, they're fucking manipulating people mm-hmm. to make them think that they're really good friends with him. You know, if they saw him in the street, would they go, oh, mate, I think you'll piss on them if nah. they're on fire. Nick, I think you're a really nice guy. It's 50p. No, you're not <laughs> going to fucking do it, are you? Stop <laughs> gifting the fucking begs. Because, like, oh, it's a full-time job. And the other wankers are all like, oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, social media's been so fucking hard. I'm going to have to have a break. Yeah. It's the easiest money I've ever made. <laughs> it's fucking easy. It's fucking easy. If you've, you've got no personality, you know what I mean? You're not Captain Charisma, mate. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get your head down do some graft. Find what you're good at. TikTok videos, no. <laughs> Bit of side boob. Right, bit of sign boo and fucking monkey's forehead. You're all right. over it. Fuck it, she's going to earn a fortune. <laughs> right. Lower your standards, you're going to earn a fortune, my dear. You know what I mean? You're going to go far until you pop three or four kids out with four or five different dads. How that works, I'm not fucking sure. <laughs> then you might fucking tail off. But do OnlyFans, there's a market for it somewhere. There's a market there's for a it. There's a market for fucking everything on that Did place. you see the woman that came on the podcast, the dominatrix woman? I didn't see it, no. I saw a few clips of it. She yeah. sells her own shit to people that eat it. Mm-hmm. £150 a truffle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wrong game here, like. Mate, honestly, I said, I said to Ben yeah, afterwards, where I said, were we these sell fucking, anything. Where were these fuckers before social media? And where what, were the weirdos that are yeah, eating yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, where, where were they? What were they doing? Do you know what I mean? Where were they getting these bags of shit from? Like, what, pe- <laughs> what pets did they have? I mean, what... Are they allowed to keep domestic pets? That's the question. <laughs> Probably mean, not legally. No, exactly. It's like, mm, border collies... <laughs> Fuck off. I mean, but, do, but do you think that people have started to discover these little quirks and fantasies and things like that because of social media? Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Because social media is so amazing, yet so dangerous at the same yes. time. Yes. And dangerous, and I mean fucking dangerous. I was talking to my mate Robert at his farm uh, 
where my prep room is, what I rent off him. And uh, we sat on, fuck it. I don't, I don't, I do very little on Instagram. I need to start posting more on it. Uh, I've got a few hundred followers or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, oh, fucking hell, there's this fucking, I shared this video with my mate, it's funny as fuck, whatever. And I, I opened it up, and there's a kid on there, must be about 11 or 12, like a fucking belt round the nipples, we hardly fuck all on, and I'm like, what the fuck? He goes, yeah. oh, what you've been watching? I'm like, fuck all! And he's like one of them instances where, like, you, you remember the, the porn screams would come out when somebody had said you the method? Yeah. And I'm like, Fucking hell! <laughs> shit! Fuck shit! Stop shit. me! Stop me! Stop me! Stop me! <laughs> no, I'm not a fucking nonce. I'm not a nonce. Let's just fucking, let's just fucking clear that up, right? Uh, so, and, and, I, and I was like, who's recorded that? Who's posted that? Mm -hmm. It's she's this girl's on a beach, or, or whether they're really good with fucking green screens or whatever else. It's like, who said that's okay? Because to me, that's not fucking okay. That's, that should not be on. So she is not of age at all. And, and he's fucking... And he's saying with the, the lasses on TikTok, I, I never knew fucking lip syncing was so fucking popular. What? <laughs> lip sync battle used to be on telly fucking 15 years ago. Nobody Dude. watched it. That's why they fucking stopped it. Was it was called Top of the Pops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> Britney Spears started that shit off. She did. Fucking hell, many a wank of album cover of that. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Man. Can you oh. remember MTV back in the days? Oh, oh. fucking It hell. was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking. Oh. It's not the same anymore now, is no, it? No, <laughs> MTV's <laughs> nothing to no. do with music videos. It's all videos. gangster rap, guns yeah. and knives, isn't it? Did you ever used to watch um, Pimp My Ride? Yes. Have you seen all these videos that are now coming out yeah, that, about <laughs> how fake it all was? And <laughs> Some kid got left without a car for nine months or something. It's like, <laughs> I had to get a rent a car and all this shit. They brought it back and they took the PlayStation out of it. It was like... Mate, you've royally got mugged off, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing what comes out so many fucking years later, isn't it? Like, we ain't going to bring it up again because we've brought it up a couple of times yeah. and we've got a fucking copyright on it. But can you remember that series called There's Something About Miriam? And it was a... Uh, I never watched it, but I remember it. I remember it. There was some woman. Yeah. But she was a bloke. Right. She was born a bloke, this yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. And all these blokes, these studs are trying to win her affections over... A couple of week period until they find out, and, and then she gets, boils it all the way down. And this guy's won, and it's, he wins ten grand. He's in love, and, and he's in love, and, and and they've done stuff. You know, they've been kissing on the dates, and who knows whatever else. Mm -mm. And then right at the end, when he's won, he's like, you know, this. And she's like, oh, there's something I need to tell you. I was not born Bosh. a woman. <laughs> but I mean, could you imagine doing that now? You'd be uh, fucking. I mean, that's that's fucking. Yeah, that's not good, is it? I mean, uh, I don't know how far the bloke went. He might, he might have given her a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> or just in hummed on her. In, in which case, he should have known. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just but, hum on I mean, that's, that's, that, that, yeah. that could be traumatising, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, it was like a like fucking old bow selector thing and all that yes. sort of stuff. It's like, it was of its time. Yes. It was of its time. Yeah. Right? And, and it, it's going back to when they were pulling all the statues down with this yeah. fucking BLM bullshit. Because yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, it was yeah, fucking yeah. bullshit. It was. I called bullshit on that. Fucking very early another, on. It was another, let's put the Ukraine flag on my Facebook <sighs> profile. Do you ever look at them? And it's like, I've had my COVID vaccine. A scroll. Did you not just go, has anybody ever looked at it and gone, well, you're amazing. What, what a human being you what are. What a guy. Yeah. I wish my life was more like his. Yes. You know what I mean? Never. What a guy. Oh, look, he's doing jigsaws with his family. Oh, they're playing Uno. Oh. Fuck off with your shit life. <laughs> Fuck off. If you've got time to put a Ukrainian flag, or oh, a terrorist attack, right, I put the French one up this week. It's yeah, like, the, the Paris, the yeah, Paris yeah, attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fucking bullshit. Absolute what was that other noise. one? I am... Um, just, just three uh, something, wasn't it? What was, was it? Fucking key workers. Well, that was. They, they were. All, they were all right. To Everyone wanted to be a key worker, though, didn't they? Yeah. Like, I'm a key worker. Who gives a shit, mate? You've got a job. Sound. I'm not a key worker. I'm sat at home, fucking pulling head off it, <laughs> and I'm getting paid. That weren't me, unfortunately. <laughs> but there were plenty like it. When did you start your Facebook? Uh, in COVID? Yeah, so lockdown. So what, like, I don't understand, because we don't, we don't have anything on Facebook, do we? And if you're fucking pulling racks in like that, we need to go on Facebook. Facebook's hard, man. Is but, it? Yeah, Facebook. To get follow it, I had like 800 to 1,000. Well, I st the first one I did, um, it got pulled down because I started slagging Greta Thunberg off, right? <laughs> so I'm like, look, once she becomes of age and she'll be like a fucking monkey pulling lipstick on, I, I, she'll forget about climate change. Yes. She'll, all she'll want is a bit of cock. Yes. Right? So <laughs> anyway, this fucking video I did went viral on Facebook. Then everyone started watching my old videos. Yeah. Then they shut the fucking, they shut my Facebook down. <laughs> 
So I'm like, <laughs> fuck. Where'd you, where'd you post? What is it like? Is it like TikTok? Where'd you, where'd you post videos on Facebook? Uh, you create a new page. So you create, you create, you create like a business page. So you create Frustrated your, farmer. Yeah, and so I created post- that. And then I just started like... Uploading um, a video. Up, upload posted. a video on it. Um, and obviously share it around with your friends. They'll hopefully share it. And it's just how, how, it, how it goes. That wow. is, It's a lot harder. So like having 50,000 followers on Facebook... Is massive. Is ma- it, yeah, it's, I've got 50,000 on TikTok. Yeah. And did that in quarter of the time? Yeah, oh, fucking did it in weeks. Yep. Did it in weeks. Yep. Whereas Facebook took me fucking years. So yes. I, I'd equate, I'd equate 50,000 Facebook few followers mil. to, yeah, probably a few million on, on TikTok. Yeah. TikTok shithouse viewing, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah that, that's what yeah. it is. Like, and, and it's like when you're on that beta program, it's like views, actual views. So it depends how many people's actually seen How it. long have they watched yeah. it for? Yeah, exactly. And, um, so yeah, it's, it, TikTok, uh, Facebook's fucking hard. So we started posting videos, got sh- got that that one shut down. But that was my private, that was my personal Facebook. I was doing that on, right. and then I went. Do you know what? I was fuming and all. Cause I'd like gone viral, and I got a massive buzz off. Like fucking hell, it's had like 110,000 views in about six hours. It was fucking flying. What was the video? The Greta Thunberg one? No, it was. Um, oh, I can't know what was it now. I know what, I can't. I can't fucking remember. I honestly. Oh no, it was. Um, it was hypocrites. You fucking stood there clapping at your doors at eight o'clock on a Thursday night, Friday fucking morning, you're walking in the countryside, causing fucking mayhem, disobeying all the rules. And that is what you're fucking doing. Yeah. But it's all right, because your neighbour's got you on video yeah. with a pot and a fucking pan. Yeah, ding, ding, right, ding, 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 oh, ding, eight look, o'clock on a... I what am. was it, Thursday mm. night? Yeah, yeah. Tuesday night. I never like fucking that. clapped once. And that's not because I don't like what they were doing or anything like that. It's just because I'm not a bell end. <laughs> Thursday o'clock, eight o'clock on a Thursday night. I'm fucking probably eating some snap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going to say, oh, morning, Marjorie. You're all right. Yeah. Not seen you for a week. You were here last week. Weren't you? Anything else happened? No, we had a bait of the shits. Like, you know what I mean? That's it. That's it. Oh, we did a crossword. Oh, and it's lovely. All the community we, coming yeah. out. Bollocks with your community. Community is fucking bullshit. Community is fake to me. Like, yeah, I, I, I know. Do. I think it's just people who want to make out they've got, and that's. I think that's social media has brought that out of people. We must have this. We must have the Mercedes Benz on the drive, whether mm-hmm. we can afford it or not. Mm-hmm. We must have that house. Oh fucking hell! They've had their windows done. We're having our windows done. Fuck, they've had well anthracite great. We're having black. We're gonna have our face here. and it's just like a cockfight all the time. Yeah, with yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. And it's all it is, isn't it? It's yeah. just a cockfight with yeah. them all, and 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 that's and that's why I think it's all for you know. How amazing is my life? It's not. It's not. It's she shit. fucking hates you, mate. Like everyone else is pretty shit. Behind your bike, she's wiping a fucking arse on your ham sandwich before you go to work, <laughs> mate. She can't wait to get rid of you. Did you put a new mustard on that today, Maureen? <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. D- Dijon. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it, to, to me, it's just, and I think I've been let down when it passed me. Um, one or two people massively let me down. And then I, I basically, I, in COVID, I went, you know what? You're on your own here to beat this fucking bit of an addiction. Because it was an addiction. Yeah. Um, to beat this, to get back on my two feet, I've got fuck all, the clothes are stand up in because the house burned down. <laughs> and I thought, do you know what? No cunt help me. Nobody help me. No. Nobody help me. Nobody really gives a fuck about you. Nah, no, nah, nobody cares. And I think once you come to that realisation, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you go, right, let's do it now. I don't want to come across as a bell end. I will do anything to help anybody. Yep. You fuck me over, <laughs> I'll just, oh, whatever, I'm not asked. What do yep. you mean you're not bothered? I don't, I, I ain't got the time. No. Nope. I'm not, I, I'll do it. I did, we, uh, the wonderful followers of Facebook and TikTok, um, the guy messaged me at Christmas. We we're doing 65 quid amper packs and 130 pound Christmas amper packs. Yep. Turkey, sausage, fucking whatever else, blah, blah, blah. And he messaged me saying, mate, can I have a 65 quid amper pack? Send me your bank details. Yep, yeah, no problem. Boom, nice one. He said, I'm not coming to collect it. I'm, I live in Newcastle. Can you give it to a family in need this Christmas? I went, fucking hell, mate. I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll I said, it. I'll double it. Yeah. I said, I'll make that to 130. I said, if you don't mind, I'm going to do a little video. He went, that's fine. I never asked anybody for a fucking penny. I just said, this guy has donated this. So I'm going to double that and make that 130. I don't know where these people are who are in need. I'm a butcher and a farmer. But we'll find them. But we'll find them. And a, girl, a lady called Tanisha Bramwell in uh, Yorkshire. She, <laughs> it's her job. It's her job. She finds, and she was delivering fucking meat parcels and veg parcels to people Christmas morning and presents to people in need. She'll go and put gas and electric on for them because they're fucked. They've got nothing and nobody's helping them. So I got in touch with her and I said, look, a thousand pound got donated. Just over a thousand pound. 
got chucked into my bank and I'm like, fucking make sure you put donation on it. Like, I need to make sure I know who is. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we, we worked it all out. And it was, I think it was like a thousand and fucking 70 something quid or whatever. And I'm like, that is fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. How am I going to do this? How am I going to butcher a thousand quid's worth of meat and get it out to these fucking folks? Like, I'm like, it can't all go in one place. That's too much money. I want to divide it up. So yeah. uh, the friary in Nottingham, they had some. They waited until just after Christmas. I said, listen, they'll always need feeding. If you can help me out and wait till after Christmas, that'd be fucking brilliant. Because I was up to the neck in orders, working till 10 o'clock every night, just to get Christmas orders out, get this meat sorted out for charity. Uh, and then there's a place called Hope House in Chesterfield. Who it's it's um, ex-offenders coming out of prison and drug addicts who are in rehabilitation. Um, it's not a rehab centre, but it, 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 it's, it, it's helping them. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And it, they make meals for them. It's halfway house. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so we took 200 quid off down to them. Tanisha had about 500 quid off. And then the Priory had the rest. The Friary, not the Priory, the Friary in Nottingham had the rest of the meat. Like, And it was fucking mint. How many did brilliant. you poison? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I'm waiting for the fucking lawsuit. Waiting for the lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking poison news. They might just fucking vanish. Like, yeah. No, no, it was, it was it's but good there to are do. some good humans out there, aren't they? There is some good humans. I think humans. there's probably more good than bad. Yeah, it's just the wives won't let them be good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They've just sucked yeah, yeah. the goodness yeah, out yeah. of them. Their fucking lives have become that fucking, that obsessed at home with fucking, right, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. She's fucking nagging. Because he's putting his lycra on on a Sunday morning, yeah, yeah, pissing yeah. tractor drivers and tennis coaches on the uh, way to yeah, work off, yeah, that's it. and then going back and having to compare the anthracite uh, <laughs> fucking windows <laughs> with Maureen next, next door. door. Yeah. Fucking slag, she's had a fucking <laughs> fence done. <laughs> oh, my lips are... Yeah. Uh, you, me, me and my brother would, used to joke around about uh, <laughs> COVID time. Can you imagine the amount of blokes that woke up next to their wife and went, who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah, lip yeah. fillers, no, no yeah. false eyelashes, Mate, no Botox, no I hair. Did a, I did a video on this. It, you'll be able to go back. It's, uh, it's what's it called? Money-saving tips for ladies. It's <laughs> on my Facebook, right? So I'm sat in my tact and I'm like... No one's ever said, look at her over there, I wish she had just another five mil on her eyelashes. <laughs> no, one, no one's ever said that. No one's ever said it. No one's ever said, oh, if, if her lips just looked a little bit more like a cat's arsehole, <laughs> she would be fucking perfect. <laughs> uh, all right, the tit issue, I get that, like, but you know, at least get him to take the blue veins out. Do, yeah. do, do, do oh, you know what I mean? Especially yeah, around yeah. the nipples. Yeah, oh, no. The teacup. The, 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 the saucers. Nah. No. Sorry, no. So, ladies, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially if they've got spots on them. And the odd hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck off. <coughs> um, but no, no one's ever said it to... But these women out there... And, and I think that becomes an addiction as well because on social media... Fucking hell. That's why I don't, I, don't, I don't do dating apps. And uh, I've had one or two in the inbox and all this, that, and the other. But I've never followed through with it because I just think, they're going to catfish me now. Yeah. They're going to fucking massive catfish. This, i seen one fucking bird. She sent, she sent me this fucking, like, so I'm hanging out my arse. I'm like, right, perfect opportunity <laughs> to show your true self. What do you look like, right? <laughs> she sends this picture, mate, the fucking lipstick. <laughs> The lipstick was fucking over there. <laughs> like, the fucking the whole like, outline of the lipstick is just fucking. I was like, I don't think the filter's quite lined up, love. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> like, fucking oh. get off. You know what I mean? But no, it, it, it becomes an obsession to him, and and it's. But then the thing is as well, some guys like they give they give the blokes a bad name because they're like we're doing it for the men, and you're like I don't want to see it. There is not a heterosexual man on ah. this planet that has ever complained about you wearing nah. the same outfit twice. Your fucking hard on's gone, but time she's took it all off. Yes, <laughs> you know what I mean. Never mind me trying to fucking slip the old rubber little jacket on it. If anybody still does that, right? But. <laughs> no. I saw. I watched this program the other day. I'm quite fascinated by. It. I, I don't know. It's just uh, comes on my feed, and it's finding like these tins, survival tins from like World War Two that soldiers oh, would yeah, have had, yeah, yeah. and they're still sealed. And this bloke goes on and he opens it with the old can, Fuck and him. in there there's all these things. But there was one, and it had got an old fucking condom, but it was a little reusable condom. It was like a fucking. Water, it, was like, it? it was like a finger yeah, of yeah. a fucking marigold. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking do your business and Fuck wash it out and then that fucking have another go the next day. Better than a Toffee Crisp wrapper. <laughs> fucking hell. That's a Jeremy Kyle job, that, isn't it? Toffee yeah. Crisp. People are on that, yeah. But no, it, it, it's... And that's why I think... But social media, 
we've talked about the negatives of it. Social media is fucking great for businesses like that. Yep. For um, getting the voice heard as well, because I've got a big problem with mainstream fucking media. Yep. Mainly run by the left. Does anybody watch it anymore? I watch it, I think, to fucking wind me up for the day. <laughs> it's like, I tell you what I saw the other day, this was fucking brilliant, this was. I, I'm sat there watching it and all this floodings happened, done it? That's, a, that's fucking terrible. That's yeah, terrible, it was right? terrible around here. Yeah, terrible, it was on the, the national the, news. The, the fucking Loughborough. floods are terrible, right? Yeah. This councillor fucking strides over the sandbags, <laughs> what, about a metre tall, right? Goes to letterbox, there's a pipe coming out of the letterbox, pumping water out, and he goes and posts a fucking leaflet through. I'm like, is he fucking brain dead or what? Like, why is he... Is he they're pumping water out of an house. There's no one in there to get your campaigning letter. No. And I don't think it'll survive the water. No, You're going to drop no. it into, you fucking idiot. And these are the councillors and politicians we're dealing with. Yeah, they're, they're running things. They, yeah, yeah, they're in charge. They are they're in fucking, charge. Them people, they, they, they need a shake. Get rid of them. Get rid of, We want some real folk in there mm. who've got real life experience. Mm -hmm. They are out for themselves first. Then the political party. Society is at the bottom of the list it, for them. Is it at the bottom of the barrel? Well, I'm, a fuck, I, I, I'm a fucking normal guy. And what have they done? Like, Labour, oh, we're for the working man. Fucking Jeremy Corbyn came in. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ on a John Deere. <laughs> fucking hell, he sat down with Hamas for a brew. <laughs> he did. Do you know what I mean? He, he went did. He, he, <laughs> they only went for dinner. Yeah, but they're a terrorist organisers. He sat with the IRA and you're thinking, oh, fucking hell, this guy, this guy wants to be leader of... Wants the, to be leader of... Yeah, yeah, of, of Great Britain. The fifth biggest economy in the world. Yeah. We're fucked. Do you know what I mean? We are fucked. And, 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 and I'm not a Labour voter. However, Keir Starmer, him who let... Um, what were his name? Jimmy Savile. That were it. <laughs> him who let Jimmy Savile off. Right. There weren't enough evidence. Mm. <laughs> Funny how he died and there were 500 women come forward. <laughs> Not enough evidence, Kia. Mm, Roger. Yeah, fucking hell. Right, so he's in charge now. Like, he, got, he got knighted for that job. <laughs> Did a great job. Here's a knighthood. Here's a knighthood. Yeah. Fucking jingle jangle. Jingle jangle what? Fucking hell. He's now in charge. He's a bit more centre, isn't he? So yeah, I can get on with him a little bit more, but... It's the whole fucking thing. If you are anything... But at least we're not America, because look <sighs> at him running Fuck the show. It. He's not, is he? He's not running the show. He's not running anything. He's just a fucking figurehead. The <laughs> dopey bastard. He can't even stand up. He's fucking... He just wobbles about. Yeah. I, I, want, I, I don't even think that he's the actual person who goes on the helicopters. He wouldn't survive that. Be. He's fucked. But do you know the thing that amazes me? How are these people the best that we have got to offer? They're not. They're not. They're not. And I'll tell you why we can't get the best in. It's because it's such a tight circle. Yes. In and amongst their little fucking big yeah. boys college club. Yeah. All from fucking Eton or yeah. whatever else. And, yeah. and yet, Angela Rayner and Keir Star, we're from working class backgrounds. You might have been. You're not anymore. You're not anymore. Y you haven't been for the last 20 fucking years or 10 years, whatever. And you've enjoyed soaking the champagne lifestyle up. Covid, they're all having part. The Conservatives got nailed for it, and Boris We've got, got nailed. We've got photos of you on Epstein's island, yeah. so you're yeah. now gonna do what we tell you to do. But, uh, the Labour were as bad. They were having fucking kebabs and beers in yes. fucking Durham. Of course they were. Right. They were all fucking doing it. Anybody in Covid who said they never broke a rule was a lying bastard because nobody knew what the rules were. <laughs> like, the they were that sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they were yeah. that sketchy. Nobody yeah. knew what the fucking rules who were. Was the, who was the bloke that went for his eye? Drove 150 oh, miles fucking, to test his he, eyes. The, fucking, what was um, his name? Yeah, he was the one who exited. Oh, fucking hell. Um... Cummings, Dominic Cummings. Dominic Cummings, yeah. yeah. Water, bell end. And then. 150 and then it, miles to yeah, test yeah. to see if his eyes were all. Fuck right. off, he was going to get his fucking knuckles, <laughs> he mate, was. wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was up to second knuckle, mate, right? He, I'm he there was. fucking driving yep. a tractor, yep. bollocking fucking yep. Brian May for walking his dog. Yep. And he's up there fucking giving it the barry. And then you've got Matt Hancock, right? He's, he's ruined his fucking life. He's <laughs> ruined his life. Why did they fucking even put him on the jungle and line his pocket with fucking money, the prick? Right? He was supposed to be a shining health secretary. Yes. Do this, do that. They were, he's necking on with some fucking tart in a lift. Yes. Right. There were no How masks did involved. He, no. I fucking hell. At least you had a wank with a mask on during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? But this guy is like, he's supposed, we're, we're all looking at him every night on this fucking, this big podium. 
Fucking, with all these slogans on. All these statistics on. Yeah, and all look at these charts. Right, follow, follow the science and all this. We must do this, must do that, must do the other. Right? And he's fucking necking on with some talk. Yeah. Ruins his marriage, embarrasses his wife and his fucking children and all the rest. Well, and he embarrassed himself. He didn't that's all he got them. caught for. Yeah. That's, the that's, only, that's not the only no, thing no. that they've done. But it's like they vilified him and then he's like, right. He, got, he probably had a book deal out of it. 100%. And then, he, and then he's like, oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Mainstream media, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put him in the jungle. Yeah. Why? Fucking don't ever talk to the man ever again. Forget about him. Yeah. Just He should not He should be sacked, fucked off, dummy. Philip Schofield will be on there next year. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell, mate. He'll be on oh, there fucking next year. Hell, mate. What a fucking chimp he is. What a fucking bell. And the newsreader, you fucking Edwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't hear anything about that anymore. You don't hear anything about it. It is brushed under the carpet. Done, isn't it? It's yeah. done. It's done. wrong. The fact that he manipulated a young boy from the age of, I think, 10 or 12. I don't know. I don't know. Allegedly. 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 Don't fucking come for me. I'm a simple man from up north. I know <laughs> fuck all. It's only what the mainstream media have fucking told us. Yeah. But that's the great thing about social media. Yeah. There's more real journalism going on with Joe Public, who doesn't know what he's doing, that's the be- they're the best ones. They're the best they're te- ones. Fucking, that. fucking telling the truth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're, tell- they're, t- they're showing the truth. But equally, there's a fucking lot of bullshit on there. Oh, mate, <laughs> mate the, the fucking shit I get. There's some bullshit mate. on there. Yeah, hey, uh, what are you talking about that for, mate? I'm going to come and kick your teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Do you get that? I've not had any threats. Oh, mate, I've, had I've not had mate. any threats yet. I put my fucking number on the internet now for orders and shit at Christmas and that. Oh, <laughs> mate. Fucking hell, mate. i got people ringing me up, mate, I'm going to come and fucking smash your teeth in. I'm like... But why? Are you that delicate? Are you that delicate? Mate, you, you, you slagged the Bible off. I went, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, I said, it's not just the Bible I hate. I hate them all. Yep. I hate all religions. All of them. I don't mind anybody doing it. If you need a crutch on life and you've got, you need some guidance yep. and you look into a book that's thousands of years old for that guidance, then great. Yep. That's fine. Don't fucking involve me. Don't. Don't involve like other people if they if, if they don't want to be involved. Keep that to yourself. Yeah. Right? If you want to believe in a talking snake, <laughs> right? My question always is, where the fuck did they put the woodpeckers on Noah's Ark? Where did they put the woodpeckers on a wooden ship? <laughs> where did they put them? Answer me that, I'll start listening. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like you follow I have as much faith in Harry Potter and I've never read it. Well there's a talking snake in that. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. But it's like, I've nothing against anybody. I am like, I'll do, I'll do it for anybody, like I've said, and I, and, and I, like, I like everyone to the point they're a bell end. <laughs> and then I just say, do you know what? Have a great day. I'm off. I'm off. I don't need this shit. Turning to violence, because you don't agree with what somebody said. Are you that fucking arrogant? You think you can go through life without being offended? Yep. <laughs> a lot of them are. People are that arrogant, they think they can go their whole life without somebody saying something they don't like. How fucking sad and self-centred are you? Just fucking grow up. It's, most of what I put on is a fucking joke, it's a laugh, it's yes. a giggle. And we're doing it to get views. Of course, and people don't understand that. I'm doing, I will, someone gives me hate. Um, I, I posted this tonight, right? I posted this tonight, 3,000 views in an hour. Yep. Like, brilliant, sound, that's Facebook. So I put daylight robbery. Did I take it off? No. Why? Because I know my loyal followers are going to kick, yeah. kick yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. fucking wanker, blah, yeah. blah, 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 and blah. And it's blah, just going to keep I, the algorithm. Keep, yeah, and it rolls it, you see. But there's some nasty fucking horrible people out there who mm. will like, ring you up and threaten you. And it's like, mate, it's only video. And also, you've made a judgment on me on something that's three minutes long. Yes. How shallow are you? Mm-hmm. Going back to, you're going to sit in your house at your age, retired and slagged me off for trying to earn a few quid. You just don't like the way I've said it, the way I've done it, because it's not the way you did it. It's all jealousy, because they haven't got the charisma or personality. I'm not saying I'm some sort of fucking big big shot. I'm not. I'm fuck all. I'm absolutely fuck all. But they're just jealous that they've not got a platform. Mm-hmm. That's all they are. And it's but they could all have one. They could, yeah. Could yeah, they? They, of course they can. Of course well, they can. I mean, this fucking... This, uh, they, 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 don't get me wrong, these fucking people on social media, f- families on TikTok piss me off. <laughs> right, fucking families on TikTok piss me off. Apart from one family who I absolutely fucking adore, and they've been amazing, and they are amazing, the Smithy family. 
I fucking love them. I don't know who they are. Oh, they've got, they're like 1.3 million on Facebook. They're like one of the originals. And then it's like, oh, me and my husband, we've, we've decided to do content creation full time. And all this. He's up at four every morning thinking of these wonderful ideas. What a, what a provider. No, love, he's on the dark web because you're giving him fuck all. <laughs> he's on the dark web. He's on the web. fucking dark web with his thumb up his arse and skin back. Right? He's not doing either that or he's gone up for an old man's shit. <laughs> One or the other. He's not, he's not thinking about you, family. He needs to get away from you. That's why he's up and he's downstairs. Probably chugging on a fucking load of fags at the back door. It's the only piece he gets. Because you're fucking at him all the time with a fucking camera. Pranking him. You know what I mean? Loosening leg on fucking table. You know what's going to happen. And people still watch it. <laughs> fucking mad. So, yeah, I don't like the couples, really. Like the, all the family, family things. It just seems to be over-engineered. Yeah. Forced fun. Yes. That's what it seems like. But, yeah. again, there's a market for it. Yeah. There's a market for it. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I understand that. That's why... I scroll up. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. Just, You've got the choice. I don't, yeah, don't really like them. Scroll on. Oh, I like these ones. These are all right. These. I'll sit and watch these. No, no, I won't make a bell end of myself and comment. No, no, I won't do that. No. Oh, oh, we'll go and watch the next one. You know, we... I got someone commented on one of my videos the other day and I'd made a video and it was, um, it was basically saying TikTok now doesn't want you to post anything that's online anywhere else. So their algorithm can pick it up. So wow. if you posted a video on Facebook and then you try to repost it onto TikTok, yeah, yeah. if you're on the creativity beta program, you will get a black mark against your name. Wow. So I made this video and I said, look, if you're a creator and you want to get your views when you want to keep it's getting fucking paid. fucking funny you've said that. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I put that on tonight uh-huh. on Facebook. Uh-huh. It's my first point of call. It earns me money. Whatever. I then put it on TikTok. I'm sat with you. Yep. You've gone out. Yep. Nip, you'd nipped off. No views. Zero views. There you go. I, dele- I deleted. I deleted the video, and I'm like, right, I'll fucking post that tomorrow, or whatever else. But it's like, the the account. I've got two accounts on TikTok because I had a troll. Fucking what a prick! Ryan, his name. Well, I'll not say his last <laughs> Ryan name. Ryan the fucking troll. Ryan. <laughs> Big fuck off zits on his face. <laughs> like, right. Two noses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking shit dress sense. Like, you know what I mean? Fat little prick. <laughs> Fuck. Greasy hair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Sat fucking with his mum's knickers like that. <laughs> giving it in the beginning in, in the back bedroom. Like, yeah. And anyway, Ryan, Ryan didn't like me and apparently he farmed with Jeremy Clarkson. Oh. And I was doing a, a fucking TikTok live or whatever. And um, there was like, I don't know, a few hundred people watching or whatever. And uh, he's like, yeah, but I, I, you've only got a little farm. I went, yep, yeah, it's only a small farm, yeah. Well, I've got a big one. I was like, oh, brilliant. Nice one. Great yeah. stuff. But how many acres you got? I said, I don't talk about acreage, mate. It's not something I do. It's just... We've got a little livestock farm. We do as best. All right. I hope you're doing great. Oh, yeah, I'm working with Jeremy Clark. So I'm doing it. That's a great stuff. I said, but there's, there's loads of other questions coming here through here, Ryan. I said, so if you want my mate, I'm going to start talking to other people. Yes. I'm being right with you. You angry bastard, all this. I'm like, no, no, I'm not getting angry, pal. I said, I'm just trying to give everyone else a chance. I'd just gone viral at 3.3 million. And, and it's like, everybody comes in then, don't yes. they? And everyone's like, oh, what happened with the car and fucking all this shit? And you've got Ryan, who don't like the fact that you're getting attention and he's not, because his mum's not done his turkey dinosaurs for tea. <laughs> don't I mean? Or probably Because he's got a bigger yeah. tractor than you. <laughs> or, or washed her knickers, so yeah. he's got fuck all to wank with. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right? So, either, and then I'm like, look, look mate, I'm going to mute you. Uh, so he creates another account within fucking seconds, mate. Like, seconds. He's back on. He's back on. Delete it. Another one. Another one. Then it starts uh, screenshotting, obviously, my um, profile picture, blah, 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 blah. And starts calling himself frustrated farmer and all this shit and fucking blah, blah. And I'm like, mate, then it was, um, I was fucking, I'm always like, bit, I hate the word flirting, but I always like flirt with fucking, I haven't cracked with women. Do you yeah. know, do you know yeah, what I mean? And he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, you're sexually exploiting women now, are you? <laughs> right? I'm like, whoa, 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 no, I'm fucking not. Some fucking tart comes up and she's like, you can sexually exploit me if you want. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, fucking sound. That's, yeah, I am. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's funny. Hopefully, like, it, it'll be fine now. Because next minute, bang, wiped off. Permanent ban for fucking going live on TikTok. And I'm like, you're fucking joking. I just built, I just got it up to something like 35,000. I'm like, you're fucking joking. All because of this little wanker. I peeled it, nothing fucking happened. So I'm like, right, we'll set a new TikTok up. And that's, we've got that up to like 30 odd thousand, but... I don't really try much on it anymore because there's that many restrictions. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can earn loads of money if you're consistent. I'm not. I'm fucking busy. 
I'm busy. You've got to be... A, you can make a lot of money, you're doing it full time. Yeah, you can. A hell of a, and that's without begging. You don't need you to don't beg. You don't need to beg, mate. You do no, not need, need beg. to beg. You don't need to beg. You get brand deals, you can get it on ad revenue and all the rest of it. All you've got to do is have some, have some fucking imagination, personality, and just be a genuinely good person. Mm -hmm. like, and not be a boring prick. And, and don't be jealous. Jealousy is one of the worst traits anybody could ever have. Absolutely. Jealousy yeah. and greed. My old man always said to me, don't worry about what everyone else is doing. Worry about what you're doing. Yeah. You just get on with your yep. knitting. Yeah. Fuck everybody yeah. else. There's too many busybodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what they are, busy Too bodies. many busy yeah. bodies. And, and you'll never get on in life if, if you're worrying about what everyone else is doing. Right. It's funny you're talking about um, people having big bollocks when they're online and giving it all this. Oh, fucking hell. So, it's like the people who shout at you through a car window, isn't yes. it? Yes. Like, yes. you just want to rip them Th out. This wasn't me. <laughs> this, wasn't me. this story I'm going to tell you fucking was not me. It was not me. Bastard. I swear <laughs> down, it wasn't me. And it, it, <laughs> it was... <laughs> so anyway... I'd broken my leg, and said person turns up at my house. Oh, right. Do you want me to walk your dog for you? Oh. I was like, what a lovely oh, gesture. thank you so much. Said person comes in and says, I just need five minutes just to calm down a little bit. I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? He says, well, I've been to the local Tesco's before I came here to pick something up. And he said, it was, this was COVID masks again. It was oh, the time of COVID yeah, masks. Yeah, yeah. He said, and he, he was totally against it. So he says, I don't wear a mask. So he's in Tesco's, and this bloke in a mask walks up to him and says, put your mask on, you cunt. So said, said person turns around and goes, excuse me, what, what are you talking about? You can't talk to me like that. No, you can't like, either. You can't talk to something like that. So anyway, he, they've had a bit of a, you know, bit of an argument, and this person's gone and paid for his stuff. And anyway, he goes outside, and the bloke's there again. Waiting for him. Waiting for him. What is so he's gone, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. So anyway... This person that I know, chins him. <laughs> and do you know what? Chins him. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a big advocate for violence. No, no, Not no. whatsoever. Nope. But you know, if you won't fuck off yep. and leave me alone, you've said your bit, I've said my bit, let's go our separate ways and agree to disagree. But if you keep going, mate, it's going to... So, so I, think, I think the bloke had swung for this person I know first. Missed, chinned him. He's like, you can't do that. I'm going to phone the police. So this bloke's like, Phone the police then. Mm. I'll, I'll stand here and I'll listen to them on, on the phone. Anyway, he's whatever. So this bloke's then come to my house, walked the dog, and then gone back. And he's had to pick a curry up for the rest of the family. And as he comes out, the police car, there's a police van outside, parked up next to his car. And they come over and they say, are you such and such? And he's like, yep. They say, oh, we've had a report of an uh, altercation. He's like, yep. Get, gets in the car tells them everything. They said, yeah, this is exactly what he said as well. And they said, people don't realise that the stuff they say online, outside, has real world repercussions it does, yeah. on your way. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. That's fantastic. Yes. And it's a nice story, that. It is. Isn't it? Because, I mean, I haven't got a lot of faith in, in the police, if I'm honest. I've had quite a few, but I'm... I'm <sighs> I used to be fucking, I used to fucking hate police and all the rest of it, blah, blah, blah. Because I had some <laughs> bad experiences with them. They fucking they kicked fuck out of me one night in the back of the van. Like, um, some bird, I'd just got back from Afghan, actually. Some fucking, we're in this place in Chesterfield, like, on the, I got back on the Wednesday from Afghan. I'm on the piss on the Friday, right? With all the lads and all that A traumatised, yeah. PTS, fucking de riddled <laughs> lunatic some fucking, on the piss. Yeah, some fucking fat bitch who looked like she escaped from local sea lab centre, right? <laughs> She's fucking huge, right? She's got this fucking little glass, little mixer or whatever. Just, she must have been fucking bored. She must have been bored. She fucking launches it over this fucking, <laughs> over this fucking, like, crowd of people. And everyone's like, fuck her. And she, I was like, oh, you bitch. I said, you can't fucking go around doing that. I said, how would you like it if that had hit you on the head? I said, you'd have been the first person to go around fucking screaming and all the rest of it. Oh, someone's glass men. I said, you can't go around fucking throwing shit. What has anybody ever done to you? Next minute, Barnes says, mate, you're being too aggressive. Can you get out? I said, you're fucking joking, aren't you? I said, I'll have just told her straight what, what the crack is. On my fucking ball sack, this is the truth. As I'm fucking getting escorted out by two bouncers, I'm five foot seven, I'm not a fucking big chap, it looks like I've swallowed a turtle. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm not a fucking fighter, right? Fucking two coppers are walking up the road just as I'm getting fucking oyed out of this fucking ah. club. I'm paralytic, I ain't had a drink for seven months. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm smashed on sniffer of almond apron, like, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm, I'm in tatters, right? 
Oh, what have you been doing? I said, what the fuck's it got to do with you, you prick? Next minute, mate, I'm on floor, on my face, yeah. been just been dragged across tarmac, yeah. straight back at the fucking van, wallop, wallop, wallop. And fucking, I was on tablets, actually, at that point. And um, for, for my mental health, like, I wear on, I can't remember, I think I was on 450 grams of sertraline, I think, a day. 450? Yeah, top white. I'm on 100. Yeah, I was on 450, top white, but I was taking about 900 in the end. <laughs> A day? Yeah, I, I didn't want to be here. I'm like... I, <laughs> I didn't like, want to be here. You nah, nearly weren't. Nah, I just thought to myself, oh, if I don't wake up, I don't wake up. I was like, fucking bad. I was like, I've had enough. Like, and um, <laughs> yeah, so so I get to that police station and this fucking keys is like, what drugs have you had tonight? I'm like, none. This is the time. I never did any drugs. I, like, I, was, I, just got, oh, I was still in the military. I was still in the fucking military. I'd, I'd, I'd not touched a drug until I was 30. I was like 28 or something. 20, 28, yeah. Fucking must have been... Tw- no, I was about 25 or something like that. And he's like, you must have had some, drug, some drugs and all that over And I was like, no, mate, I've had fuck all. They went, right, we're going to get you tested anyway. He's a nurse in here. I said, yeah, fucking no drama. Come back negative. I says, there you go, you fucking walloper. Born straight in cell, mate. Ugh. But I'm fucked. My head's fucked. My head is fucked. So I starts fucking nutting walls and shit, <laughs> right? Just fucking like, hey, bastards and all this. Next minute, leg restraints are on. I'm fucking oh, down, all this and over. And I got this fucking prick, baldy prick he were. Right baldy bastard. <laughs> And he stood at the door, right? This copper. He weren't a copper. He was like some fucking wanker who escorted him out in and out of the fucking yeah. town. He was one of He was T-boy, right? Toy cop. And he's like, what? Well, you're in the military. You're a fucking embarrassment. Look at the fucking state of you and all this. I'm drugged up my eyeballs on fucking... On, on like medication. I'm pissed out of my fucking brains. I've just come back from a fucking war zone. <laughs> Uh, and this fucking baldy wank You've just dodged it. a glass. Yeah. And then I've been fucking hiding in the back of a cop van. I've had a fucking good hiding in here and all. Said, and, I, and, and you're now giving me shit. <laughs> I said, it's a good job I'm wrapped up, mate. I said, I'll fucking wrap you up. I'll fucking honestly, mate. I'll. And so that's why I lost all sort of faith in the police force, really. And they, they, it's like when my ass burnt down, mate, right? <laughs> you lost faith in the fire <laughs> service as well. <laughs> they were all right, to be fair. <clears throat> they were all right. They just turned up a bit late. Oh, it must have been fucking busy that night. But it was like it was a Saturday night. and Because it, 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 it was during COVID. No, it was like COVID happened in March and, that, and the fight of the house burnt down in like fucking July. I'd got because of these bubbles we used to have to live in. Yes, and I was yes, fucking, the fucking bubbles. Yeah, 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 the fucking bubbles we all had to be in. So what happened were I was walking because I'd lost my licence. I'd lost my business. You lost right? your house. And then, oh, I still got it at this point. <laughs> so I'd walk, I got, I got a little boxer dog, Mick. I, I lost him in October, man. He fucking broke my heart. Oh. Week before his eighth birthday. Um, but I got him to help me with mental health. He reason yeah. to get out of bed. I got yes. walk yeah, yeah. Yeah. to walk Yeah, yeah, you got to look after him. Yeah, and it was amazing. And it was the fucking kindest, amazing dog ever. Anyway, so I'd walk him round and I, to my mum and dad's house, about a 45 minute walk. Lovely walk every morning. Then they brought this bubble bullshit in. And because I was fucking hurting the farm, like, um, I said, my mum said, well, why don't you just come and stop here again? And I went, you know what? Fucking sound. It also helped me save up, not using any gas, electric, and all the fucking rest mm. of it in the house. So that's what I did. The police ring me. Uh, what was it? About three o'clock on Sunday morning. All right, mate, where are you? Is it Robert? I said, yeah, yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah. I said, I'm in bed, mate. He says, you're not. I said, I fucking am. He says, you're not, mate. Your house is burnt down. I says, you fucking what? <laughs> he says, you're on the piss. I said, me, what the fuck you want about? I said, I'm in bed. You just woke me up. I said, hold on a minute. I said, who, who the fuck's this like? Let me come round a minute. You know what I mean? PC fucking Richardson, his name was. Fucking chimp. He says, yeah, I spent down at half past nine last night. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, so why has it took this long to fucking ring me, you dickhead? If that burned down at half nine, it's three o'clock in the morning. Why has it took you this long to fucking ring me up and let me know it's burnt down? All right, so I'm then like fucking looking through my phone and neighbours have all sent me pictures of it ablaze. I'm like... <laughs> You're right, it was around about that time, yeah. <laughs> but he didn't believe me that I'd fucking... He says, is there anybody in the house? I said, well, clearly fucking not. Because <laughs> you're talking to me. He's talking to me. It's me and my dog's here. <laughs> fucking dickhead. Oh, we, we, we need to fucking come and have a word with you. I said, all right, well, I'll meet you there in a bit. Like, it's, it's half three now in the morning. I'll, I'll, fuck, I'll meet you there at fucking nine o'clock. So I get down there. Fucking old Battleax from next door. She went out for a fucking twat. Right? She got nothing else to do. So all she did, every time you try and did something, she was fucking there. Curtain twitching. Oh, mate, what a fucking prick she was. Oh, she was, it was a shared drain. I redid all the drains, put all fucking plastic in. It was built in 1930, it was all the old pot yeah, shit. Yeah, I redone yeah. everything. She found council up saying I'd fucking disturb this, stop that. 
So they're, they're threatening me, a council. I said, don't you fucking lost heart. All it, it was a fucking nightmare living there, like. And then fucking the Dingle family moved in the next, <laughs> the other side of me. He was giving her some fucking fist and all this sh- shit. Then she, her tits were apparently too big, so she's like, oh, uh, I've had a tit reduction. What What do you think? And she's like, this, right? <laughs> to you? Yeah. This, and she's like fucking 55, 60. And I'm like, well, at least they're a bit perky than they were before, love. Still got the blue manes, right? And Fuck. the sources. And I'm thinking to myself, what? <coughs> this is a really nice area as well. This is like a well to do area. I bought this house in, like in, it's in Wingworth in Chesterfield. Like it's a nice area. And I've got fucking twat at side, being looking the dingles the other side, mate. <laughs> and, oh. then, and then a charred wreckage of a yeah, yeah, home. Yeah. Well, they were like, oh, hey, somebody's after you, mate. That were arson that way. I said, well, how the fuck do you know? <laughs> I said, who's done the work? Where's the report? I said, because fire service just told me they're not doing one. It's not worth it. <laughs> there's nothing left to report on. Is it an insurance top? I went, no, there's no insurance, you prick. <laughs> fuck off, fuck off. I'm not having that. I was like, oh, whatever, mate. I said, I said, you like a waste of fucking time. I said, just fuck off, will you? All right, you fucking. <sighs> so, so, yeah, we've had a bit to deal with last like, But then it's basically, yeah, so since like 2020, I had fuck all. And I'm, I've still got fuck. I started with fuck all. I've got pretty much most of it left. <laughs> like, we're up, but we're, I think we've got, got his foot up, rung at ladder. You That's just got your head above water. Yeah, yeah, we're all right. In your stone island and your watch. <laughs> <laughs> and your gold tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I did that to wind my dad up, right? It's like, <clears throat> my dad's like, I said, oh, I had to have fucking, that was the other thing with fucking cocaine, mate. You used to just rot your teeth. Rot your teeth, yeah. yeah. And, um, so I ended up like, I got me sent a bit of money together and then I started getting teeth problems. I'm like, fucking root canal. Yeah. Grand. God, I can't get NHS. Can't get in the NHS. No. You cannot get in on the NHS for any dental. But you can get in on private. The f- Do you know loads of Sorry, I said, is there any private? Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, well, fucking book me in. This is horrendous. This. I lost one. That just fucking fell out. And um, <clears throat> then, it, yeah, so I had two root canals. I said, oh, dad. I think I'm going to have a gold crown put on. Fuck off. Look, I said, I'm going to bring, bring the 90s back. And I'm bringing the 90s back. I said, it'll call back. And fucking, you'll look, you look like a right fucking idiot. I said, now you've said that, I'm getting it done. I'm definitely getting it done now. <laughs> You're a right twat. I said, that's right, Dad. I said, but you raised me. See, I, I've, got, I've got tattoos all over my back. Yeah, yeah. I'm 45 years old, and my dad doesn't know. Wow. Are you watching, Dad? <laughs> Hates it. Yeah, In yeah. actual fact, me and two of my mates. I've only ever had done drunk. You've only what? I've only ever had a tattoo done drunk. Have you? Yeah, I was fucking absolutely. Sm- a lad called Ginge Davis. Uh, he's a brummy lad. Oh, is he from Wolverhampton? Was Can't he gay remember. Richards, mate? Uh, gay Dougie. <laughs> no, gay Dougie. He was, he, was, he was fucking a bit of a boast, a bit of a muscle boast in that lad. Way. And we were out in there, uh, we were in Dublin on the piss in 09. And uh, he, he was covered in tats. And they were really good tats. And uh, he said, shall we get like a, a tattoo done together? I was like, mate, we're smashed. He said, yeah, it'll be all right. So we went in to it. this tattoo fucking studio. The only Australian in Dublin. Some Australian guy in Ireland doing tattoo. Can we have the shittest anchor, please? In green and red, port and starboard. Like. So I had a fucking shit anchor, paralytic drum on my fucking anchor. It's horrendous. Like. He said, come back in 10 minutes, lads. Is that shit enough? I said, yeah, that'll do. I was like, 60 euros later, me and fucking Ginger have got these matching tattoos, just one on different legs, like. But there's fucking shit. That, honestly, the Navy, some of the nights out, mate, were uh, fucking... Horrendous. Yeah, the, I can you, well you, imagine. You come home and you tell stories of it, and people are like, nah. I'm like, yeah, no, he did shit himself, yeah. 100% shit himself, yeah. Like, some little Welsh lad, like, smallest dick I've ever seen in my life. Not that I was really watching. <laughs> he just used to get it out all the time. I'm like, mate, he looks like a pig in a bush. <laughs> That's like an angry acorn. <laughs> <Don't feed. laughs> Fucking, that's horrendous. And you smell of mince and vinegar. Right. But he was top shagger. He was top shagger, mate. He was in the whorehouse, in the titty bars, right, all the time, bless him. Uh, and is it, that something sailors are absolutely it, 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 prolific? He did not give a fuck, mate. He's like, tell me how many you want me to do tonight, I'll do them. I'm like, what? <laughs> 20. It's like, 20. It's on. <laughs> like, but it's like, it's another, it's another fucking dick. Like, dick means story, like, in the Navy. So, so there's a group, group of guys in a bar in Hamburg, Germany. Hamburg is one fucking amazing city. Is it? I've it, never, ever been to Germany, full stop. Oh, mate, I love Germany. It's probably one of the, 
one of the most favourite countries I've been to. Is it? Yeah, the people are fucking great and all the rest of it. Do you know what I mean? Well, now they got rid of yeah, the Third Reich. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. They, they, they're, all, they're all right now. <laughs> they, they pulled the socks <laughs> up a bit. Yeah, yeah. And Frank's gone, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, it's called the Reaper Barn. And it's like a Frank Sinatra tribute on there. And there's all these fucking swanky bars and all this stuff. Sex world. Like, <laughs> sex world. It's like this fucking sex shop, sex shop, sex shop. And then you've got all these swanky bars down the other side. And then you go down, Burger King's on corner. <laughs> Hang a left, immediate right. We named it Quality Street. <laughs> oh, it's like these fucking billboards like that, like dog leg round. And they're all that. It's better than fucking Amsterdam. I mean, Am- Street walkers all oh, behind doors. No, no, doors. no. no. They've, they've, they've fucking got these windows, mate. They're yeah. fucking, the, the two eyes, oh, you know what I mean? And they're all like, they're better than the ones at Amsterdam, mate. I'm fucking telling you. They're a fucking brilliant light. I, d- See, I just walked. I just walked all through. of that's cut me out as well because, like I said, I've been married from 20. I've never been to Amsterdam. Never been. Never been to Thailand. Amsterdam's all right. All my mates have been and they love it. I've never and been. I, I've, Amsterdam's fucking overrated. You want to go to a place called Den Helder? It's about 45 minutes on a train up. It's the naval base. Still in Holland? Yeah, still in Holland. Den Helder. And go anywhere if you want a proper snaggy night out and a good time. Follow a sailor. Yeah. Follow a sailor, mate. And it, it, it's just funny. <laughs> it is just fucking hilarious. Like, honestly, fucking hilarious. The, the some, I, some has to trigger, and I'll tr- it'll trigger a memory, and I'm like, fucking hell, yeah, we did that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like my gaffer, I remember I pissed myself. And uh, it was in Italy. I think it was in Trieste. And we all stood there like this. It's fucking titty bar. We'd been in it once. We'd been out. Done all the boozers and it was back. Everyone's like, well, everyone meet back at the titty bar, like, don't we? Like, yeah, yeah, sad. We walked around, he's my gaffer, Uncle Ronnie, we used to call him, Ronnie Scott. He was a fucking absolute legend. And like, I'd swamped myself, like, and I just had that much booze. And Ronnie was just fucking hanging there, like, on his mate's shoulder. And he was our gaffer, right? He was our chief. And it was like, they're not letting me in because I've got piss all over me. He's like, take my jeans. <laughs> so like, give me his jeans, you know what I mean? So I could carry on going on the piss because he knew it, and he put mine on him. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's just that, and a, a sailor will look out for you every single fuck. Even if, it's weird because the ships will be rival ships. If you've got two ships in the same port, yeah. they'll fucking fight each other. Really? But well, even if they're the same nationality? Yeah, yeah. But if any locals start on, on us, like, then you're a team. Everyone's a team. Yes. Man. Like we was in uh, we was in Rota in Spain. Fucking hell, there's four Germans sat in the corner. And it was this, this fucking it's an Irish bar on every corner of the planet in there. Yeah. All right, there's fucking dollar bills all on this ceiling. All right, and all these fucking Yanks in there, USS Arleigh Burke was in and USS Monterey. And we was I was on HMS not at the time, I was eighteen years old, fucking it was my first fucking trip away with the Navy. And we're in Rota in Spain. Four Germans in the corner, a load of Yanks who'd all been fucking shopping. Well, they're not allowed to drink, right? And they have to be back on their ship. Who, the Yanks? Yeah, yeah. They're not allowed... Well, they, they, I think they're allowed, like, two beers, and they must be back on, on board their ship by midnight. Brits, do what you want, as long as you're at work for quarter to eight in the morning. We don't give a fuck, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you've got fucking lads, right? Honestly. So I think his name were Affers, and he starts singing, ten German bombers in the air, right? <laughs> so fucking that's it then. All the Brits are like, there were 10 German bombers in here, fucking all this, that, the other, blah, blah, blah. The four Germans are like, all right, fair enough. The German sailors like, do you know what I mean? It's like this big Mediterranean fucking NATO task force we were on, doing like anti-people smuggling and shit like that. <laughs> the Yanks are like, you can't go around singing out against the Germans. And all Started like kicking off of us. That was it, mate. The fucking chairs were started throwing and all this. Thing. And all these Germans are sat in the corner. It was about them, <laughs> right? And the Yanks are kicking off and we're, now all the Brits are getting involved. Mate, their place got fucking ruined. But all, the next day, go back to our like super, like, right, get yourself down there, get a load of money together and give it that fucking bloke so he can repair his pub, his chairs, his table. So yeah. all the, that's what we did, like. Yeah. But, um, fucking hell, it was mental. And then we was out board of the Yank ship. So they're all like, one lad got fucking paralytic drunk. He'd been out shopping, right? He got all his new Nikes and fucking T-shirts and all this fucking shit. Got paralytic drunk, left his shopping in there. So a lad called Jay, he, he, well, he, he did his own tattoos, he did. He was fucking, he was a <laughs> lunatic. His scouser, his dad was like an army officer and his brother was an officer and he was just some riffraff with us in the Navy. And uh, he ended up picking this geezer's shopping up, nicking it, like, <laughs> brought it back and he's down the mess the next morning. Do you know what, it's size 11 fucking <laughs> Nike Air fucking whatever else and just trying to sell. And then everyone's walking over there, fucking this American ship, 
like in this American, all these American clothes, like what he'd been fucking selling, like his scouser had, like. And then there was like, this, I remember this chef and all, he just, he was coming back and it, it, he was in the taxi queue and he fell over, fucking nutted his head on the curb, like, bump. He's like, taxi man went, he's not coming in here. So they had to wait like 45 minutes, or whatever. They, st- they got this taxi to get him back to the ship. And he couldn't fucking walk. So he got this, they knocked on the chef's door, like, and said, Look, one of your boys is in the mess on the, on the jetty. Can you come and fetch him? So four chefs get up. They're not fucking happy. And they're carrying him one on each limb. And this kid's just going, Bleh, fucking just spewing, right? And he's just fucking hitting him. And he's just going down. Him. And it's all over the flight deck of this American warship, mate. And they are not fucking happy, like. And then the next morning, you know, everyone got sent up to, f- to clean all this yank shit down with sick and piss and blood and fucking all. And these Americans just stood there going, oh my fucking God. They can't drink, can they? Nah. But they then, can't drink. They, they can't they, fight. They, no, they can't. They can't fuck all. <laughs> no. they, they're fucking horrendous. But I mean, I love America, to be honest. Yeah, I've been for the last... Well, apart from this year, I normally go away at Christmas. I don't like sitting with my family. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fucking boring, isn't it? It's fucking, it's fucking boring. boring. Everyone pretends to be nice for a fucking day. Yeah. Fuck off. Like, I used to sit with a certain member of my family, and she does me fucking head in, right? She's a hypocrite. She'll sit and fucking call you from a pig to a dog and all the rest. I love her to bits. I'll do anything for her. I just don't want to talk to her. I don't want to crack on my life. I crack on my mind. That's fine. But I'm not having you on Christmas Day making art. Yeah. You, you're some you're sort of fucking little angel. Yeah. Right? When actually you're a bit of a bell end. <laughs> right? So I used to book myself off. I went, I've been to New York for the last two Christmases. Like, just, Have you? Yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Fucking love On it. your own? Yeah, go on my own, yeah. Nice. I fucking, honestly, it's mint. It's fucking mint. I'm taking my girls in Feb. New York? Yeah. Oh, mate, you'll love it. Yeah. You'll absolutely love it. it. It's fucking, it's amazing. But we went down to minus 15 last time I went. Yeah, it gets fucking bolted, there, mate. Mate, that was cold. Up. Oh, the fountains were freezing up. Yeah. It looked it looked nice, but yeah. you couldn't walk more than 10 minutes. You wouldn't want to go for a piss in the street, well, would you? Know, you'd be a bit of lettuce, mate. You'd be like that. <laughs> Trying to get it fucking come out. The angry like, acorn no, would not no, be very no, angry. No, but no, it's amazing. And I was going to go, I like, I'm big into my country music. I like it. Uh, it's all I listen to. I want to go down Nashville for New Year. Yeah. A massive piss up. Like It's called Nashville's Big Bash. So I was going to do um, Boston, uh, New York, a week in each and then a week down in Nashville. But then I started this business back in October and here we are. What, the... Yeah, I started this meet. up, yeah, doing the meet and that. And so I thought, well, it'd be stupid to spend a hell of a lot of money on a on a, on a holiday when... You we, could be earning a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. It's a double whammy, isn't it? Yeah. And and it also, it's like, you've not done your tax return yet, am I going to get a tax bill? Yeah. Um, you don't know. You don't yeah. know. It's, you, I, I'm going into the unknown a bit with it all, so... Yeah. Here on the side of caution, I suppose. Right, so yeah, that's why we haven't been this year. <coughs> so, so yeah. But no, I love America. It's fucking mint. Yeah, no, I've only done Florida a few times. Yeah. Um, and then obviously New York. But yeah, but they're, they're, they're a funny race, aren't they? They're a funny race. Yeah, they're very odd. They're, very, they're an odd bunch. Um, I think they all mean well. Mm, maybe not. It's all so very fake, I find yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's like, so, so how's your day? I'm like, yes. you, you don't actually you don't give care. a shit. Nope. If I don't care how your day's been, I won't ask you like. Yeah. I'm not, I'll say hello, that's me being polite. If yeah. I say hello, how are you? Then actually I care about. Yes. And it's not because I think I'm anything. I'm not, I'm just not false. Everyone, I get it all the time. I say, you arrogant bastard, you think you're this. I don't, you miss, I, you, you, you're you, totally you, misunderstanding me. Yeah, yeah, massively misunderstanding yeah. me, mate. I just don't stand for nonsense. I don't stand for bullshit. And I don't I, give a shit. And I don't <laughs> fucking care. If, if you don't like me, that's fine. That's great. Yeah, I think that's the problem with a lot of people in the world, isn't it? They try and get everyone to like them. Yeah. And then nobody likes them. No. They they try too fucking hard. And the other problem is they can't say anything controversial. They can't say anything mildly funny because they're one paycheck away from being bankrupt. Exactly. Because that's the way society is now. Yep. Not through anybody's fault. It's the way social media uh, and... Get this on credit, that on credit, this on credit, all the rest of it. You're going to work to pay a fucking bank. That's all you're doing. If I don't want to go to work tomorrow, I won't go to work. But that's not the case. I go to work because I enjoy it. Yeah. And I love work. But these people, they can't say anything. What if I get the sack? Mm-hmm. I remember I was, I was fucking, I was hanging out back at some bird a fucking while ago. <laughs> few times, like, and um, she was fucking, I mean, she was tidying all, but she was a fucking feminist, man. 
She was a fucking <laughs> feminist, mate. How did you only find that out after a few oh, goes? Oh, fucking hell. Well, to start with, it was a novelty, wasn't it? It was like, oh, this is not happened for a while. Aye, aye. Fucking sound. Lovely and all. Lovely. It was like freshly cut grass. <laughs> <sighs> but then I thought to myself, grass doesn't grow on a busy street, does it? It doesn't. Why is that fucking bald? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Grass doesn't grow. What have you been up to? You know what I mean? I thought, ah, oh, in for a penny, in for a pound, we're here now. Absolutely. And, um, and then we went out on a fucking date and all this shit. And I went to her and I paid. Do you think I can't afford it? Oh, fucking Fuck it. You're having a laugh here, love, aren't you? You're having a laugh. You've had four wines. Shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? You're going Larry and Murphy. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I, I, I've, I've, I've not mentioned it before, but every night I've spoke to you for the last fucking three months, you've been pissed. <laughs> like, you, you, you're, doing, you're doing a bottle of Prosecco at night. Do you know what I mean? Your kidneys will be fucking screaming. Like, just shut the fuck up. Do you know what I mean? I've paid for it. I invited you out. Yes. I'm not paying it because I think I'm a fucking big man. To be honest, it pissed me off, but it was 150 quid. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Fucking times are hard friends a few. I, I can pay for this. I fucking blah, blah, blah. And she says to me, she says, I could never, if we, if we ever ended up being a thing, I couldn't tell anybody at work because of the stuff you say on the internet. I said, what do you mean? The fucking truth. So you'd be embarrassed then? Is that what you, well, no, they, they wouldn't like me because I work for a big banking company oh. and we do all these mortgages and all these apps and all this bullshit and fucking blah, 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 blah. I said, ah, so you, you're two different people then. So you, you're all right with me? Yeah, yeah, you're fine with me and it's all okay while we're, we're doing stuff. But when it comes to how you want to be perceived, you're a bell end. Yep. I said, you know what, love? I said, I wish you all the best. See you later. You take care. And then all of a sudden, fucking a year later, I was in New York again. And she's like, fuck hell, you're going away again. Oh, I'd love to be able to go there and all this fucking shit. Maybe we can meet up for a drink when you get back. I went, no, you're all right. <sighs> no, you're fucking, no, you're, you're absolutely fine. You're absolutely, I don't, I, I love dogs, but I don't like yours. <laughs> I'm gonna, I love that. We don't deserve dogs, but yours is a little prick. <laughs> <laughs> so you were uh, romantically involved at the minute? No, mate, single, living the dream. Living the living, dream. Yeah, I do what I want, but I, I've been on my own that long now. I almost genuinely don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not good at, like, chatting people up. I never have been, it's really. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's, I struggle. I never struggle for things to say. Fuck me, we've been chatting hours, probably. <laughs> I never struggle with things to say. Uh, 14 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest <laughs> podcast we've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it comes down to him, and it's like, I just want to cut to the chase, like, and just say, look, are you a fucking dickhead? Like, you know what I mean? I had some fucking bitch. She fucking cheated on me when I was in Afghan, mate. So I get oh. so... Yeah, yeah. So that's just fucking... I don't, this is no sob story. Don't mean I don't... Please, don't feel sorry for me. <laughs> but it's like I get a message off some fucking geezer. All right, mate, sorry, I've only just found out you've got a girlfriend and I've been shagging her for the last fortnight. I went, ah. Right. I said, fuck it off, you, mate. You're just trying to cause shit, whatever. He went, no, no, you phoned her on this day at this time and you said this to her on the phone. I was laid next to her in bed. I was like, you're fucking joking. He said, that's how I found out who you were. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, ah, fair enough. So I Skype called her from Afghan. Just mentioned it. She burst into tears. I was like, you fucking dick. You fucking dick. I mean, I've got six weeks till I get home. Yeah. You fucking dickhead. So that lost, I lost a lot of fucking faith in, yes, in, in it. And I just thought to myself, fucking hell. What a shit thing that is to do to somebody like. Yeah. And it, it wasn't a very nice to experience. And I'd never, ever fucking do it to anybody. Never. Never. I just, I just it, it fucking hurt. Not because I've, uh, of love or anything like that. Fuck me, you soppy prick. Uh, it's just a fact, it's like, other people knew. Yeah. And they didn't tell you either. That, and, it, and it took the bloke. You took the guy. Who was doing the job. Yeah, 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 yeah. To yeah. actually go, fucking hell. This is not right, this, is it? That's what men do. It's what yeah, men yeah. do. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it. So, and, and that was fucking, that was back, that was 20, 20, 2013. Wow. Yeah, 2013. Time, yeah, man. yeah. So, well, I was, with some, I was with some bird from down south. She was fucking, she was a lunatic. Cracking last, though, to be fair. Cracking last. <laughs> lunatic. I, I fucked that up, to be honest. I did fuck that up. But, oh, you fall out with her, chuck her phone in, skip, mate. Any skip. She you walk. chucked her phone in, No, the no, skip. she'd do it herself. She'd do it herself. Yeah, she, she, she'd fucking fall out with her. She was like, phone's gone. Yeah, can't get in touch with me now, you prick. Like, 
Ah, so you're bringing brothers and sisters up, trying to get in touch with you. Like, I mean, I'm on a ship down in Portsmouth. She Writing in letters. Yeah, it's like, any carrier pigeons? <laughs> 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 like, fucking hell. Yeah, so, but she, she was all right. She was a good lass, but... Um, yeah, she got a lot going on. I got a you're lot going on. You're getting hit up a lot on TikTok and uh yeah, one Facebook. or two, yeah, but you get one or two and it's like, scam. That's, that's a fucking scam, mate, that. It's, just scam. it's a bloke. I know it's a bloke. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, not like that. It's no. just like, you know, it's like somebody, like, I'm worried about people um, uh, pretending to be female. Right. And then they try and fucking embarrass you or, because they don't like you. But anybody who doesn't like you on, on, on social media I genuinely think are a super fan. They can't stop watching your every move. Mm. And they want to try and, they want to fucking ruin you. Not that I'm anybody, I'm not, I'm fuck all, I've only got 50, right? 50. But they want to fuck it up for you because they're jealous of you. Yeah. Because they like you that much. So if it means them pretending to be female and collecting a load of photographs off somebody else's profile and saying, ah, oh, yeah, you're right, and fucking all this and the other, they'll do it. He'll do it. And he's like, you're some fucking bird in Wales. It's like, listen, I ain't coming to Wales. Fuck off. Oh, I've got four kids, three different dads, but it's not my fault. No, it is your fault. <laughs> no, that, that is partly your fault. Right? Y- 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 p- yes. And, like- and, and, and just what annoys me, I'm not having a go at fucking single women, right? Single mums and all the rest of it. Don't go around fucking giving it to Barry, saying, oh, fucking baby dad number one, two, three, or four, right? No, no. You made a choice to get in bed with him. If you couldn't make a distinction between a good guy and a fucking shit bloke in the time you was with him, it's your fault as well. Yes. It's your fault as well. Yes. And you'll never get the guys fucking slagging them off because it's like they're just going to work and trying to do the right thing. Most of it. I, I get these fucking arseholes out some there. There's some dickheads. There's some fucking dickheads. I get it and all the rest of it. But what fucking annoys me is the absolute cum dumps on fucking social media with the lip syncing and all the rest of it, doing these fucking battles, they've got zero talent. I'm not saying I'm a talented man. Fucking hell for you. But I like to make folk laugh, and I think that's a fair trade. I do get a few yeah, laughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get yeah, a few yeah. laughs. Yeah. They've got fuck all. They've got fuck all going for them. Small tits, because, but they, they wear skimpy outfits. They do overemphasise the tongue, but lip syncing. The new one, the old ring lights. Yeah. yeah. Put the phone behind that now. Have you seen that one? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so there's a, there's a couple of them watched because I find it, I find it funny. <laughs> like, I'll watch them for two or three minutes. They're just like, oh, come on, team, fucking whatever, box battle tonight. And, thing. And, and the phone's behind the ring light now, so it's like you can see the back of the ring light and just a ring around the head, and like an eclipse sort of fucking thing. It's like... Oh, that's the new trend, is it? You know what I mean? And they're all wearing the same shit, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're all yeah. wearing the same shit. Monkey's forehead. Have you ever done one of them live battles? I've never done one. I don't even know um, how you would even do it. I don't know what they so are. There's a chap who... Um, <clears throat> I tried helping him out. I did help him out. I did help him out. Uh, he's on TikTok. He's actually a, he's a, he's a nice guy, but I think he gets carried away with stuff. Um, and we were doing a podcast on based on TikTok. He's a good guy. Uh, but I didn't get time and stuff like that. And then he was uploading it. And, and it was basically, we let the people who was watching decide what the next subject would be the week after. So it would be immigration, fucking cost of living crisis, fucking blah, 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 blah. And he, he said to me once, he says, like, oh, let's do a battle. I went, mate, you know, I don't, you know my stance on it. I'm not fucking into it. All right. And he went, right, everybody, should he do one or not? And everyone's going, And yeah, everyone's yeah, going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they knew it fucking pissed me off, right? And I just went, fucking whatever. But I said, give me your band. Give me, I said, I'll fucking ban the lot of you. I said, I don't give a shit. I said, I'm not bothered. I got like six points or something on it. Like, and he got like 26 or something. And I went, you know what? Fucking, I was embarrassed, mate. I was stood there going red. I'm like, this is not me. This is the longest three, five minutes, whatever. And what did they do? They just give you gifts and whoever gets the yeah, most so gifts wins. I don't know how it all works because there's different competitions as well within a battle, I think. Um, so different gifts mean different fucking values, mm. I imagine. Um, but TikTok takes 70% of it. Very clever how TikTok work all this shit, right? So you don't exchange money, you recharge. Yes, these coin things. Yes, yeah, so you're not getting money. You're not, you're not spending money, you're just recharging. You're not sending money, you're sending a, a gift. Yeah. And it does something on the screen. Very fucking, very clever. It's mind yeah. games, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got these old women as well who have... Sending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. But they also, I believe, work in syndicates. So, say I've got a decent profile, you have, he has, and so and so has. Right, mate. 
I'm going to send you a TikTok fucking universe. Biggest one you get, 400 quid. Right? But next week, you send it me back. But us sending big gifts to one another encourages the other people who aren't in the syndicate to start to, sending, to start sending yeah. gifts. And I, th- I think, I, th- I don't know, but I think that's how it fucking works. Like, But it's just, a, it's just all manipulation, I think. Mm. All manipulation. And I think it's quite sad. I think it's, it is quite fucking sad. And, it's, um, and yeah, it is people who... People in the Western world today in society don't want to be an engineer or an astronaut no. or a physicist or a doctor or a nurse. They want to be an influencer. Yeah. Who decides on who's an influencer? Who de- People decide. People decide. Yeah. People decide. But is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? And brands decide. Brands de- yeah, brands, brands decide. decide. And, and it's like the old um, Bud Light thing with that uh, Muldaney yeah. character. I'm going to say character. Whatever it, it might wake up tomorrow and want to be something else. Correct. Fuck knows. I might want a litter tray next week. We don't know. We don't know. That cost them billions. Billions and billions and billions. 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 I think it's about like 15 billion. Crazy. In, uh, yeah, yeah un- unbelievable. That was a mistake of it. You know what I mean? But why does... I didn't ever want to... Be, I'm not an influencer. I'd say I'm a content creator. I make videos and all the rest of it. Um, I've had one or two brands offer me one bits and bobs. And I'm like, nah. I think that's shit. <laughs> like... Send it me. If it's any good, I'll fucking promote it. Like, yeah. if it's fucking garbage, mate, I'm not doing it. Well, like, it, it makes me look like a prick, doesn't it? It does. Because yeah. people are going to buy it and go, oh, yeah, he's a right lane bastard. He's, he's a lane cunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking hell. You know, it's like sending me a pair of Gola trainers. I don't yeah. want them. No. I don't know. I don't want Umbro bag. No thanks. Uh, and I, I don't, I don't want to earn 49p <laughs> off of a sale. <laughs> no, no, it's no. really not worth yeah. it. Okay, so Prancing around my garden in my goal of trainers. Th- that's the way to earn money, though, on, on, on social media, is through the branding and yeah. all that. Yes. Uh, and For sure. And, and I think that's great. But the amount of people... It's like, I don't know how some of these people have got... I'm not a jealous man. I, what, not whatsoever. I'm like, Jesus, this guy's worked hard to get that following. He's fucking really worked hard. And do you know what? He's quite good, he is. He's good, he's good for that audience mm. do you know what I mean I, I respect that I'm like you mm. know he's fuck, he's done right not my cup of tea but fuck me that kid knows what he's doing yep. like these, these guys who just do reaction videos amazing well, it's just acting it is it's just who can pull the biggest face who's got the best B-Tech in drama do you know, do you know what I mean that's all it is isn't it yeah. Yeah. that's all it is like but um, but yeah I think there's there's a lot more could be done with social media to protect people vulnerable people vulnerable people on there Sending money to others. And then the vulnerable youngsters as well shouldn't be encouraged to... Well, it's fucking hard. Where do you draw the line with it? Who knows? Why? I, I think we're standing on the precipice of a mental health crisis with a lot of the youngsters. Oh, Matt, yeah, yeah. You know. I think it's only going to get worse Yeah, I before do. it gets better. I do. Um, whether we got... I don't know, it's one of them, I just, sometimes I just say to myself, we need a good war. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Harden a few folks up, do you but know what I mean? Not, who's I, fighting it? Hopefully, it ain't, it ain't them youngsters. No, no. Hopefully the cunts walking through London with banners. Yes, <laughs> right? yes. Free yeah. Palestine, yeah. get on a plane, you dickhead. Yes. If you really want to free Palestine, get yourself over there, my friend. Go and support them. It's Practice just... what you preach, dickhead. Fuck off. And the, 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 the thing that makes me laugh about all of that... And that's not because I'm... It's I'm, all the LGBTQ community. Yeah, they'd kill him, mate. They'd kill him. They'd be slaughtered in the yeah, streets. You go down there with your ball ring in your blue fucking hair. They'll you, chuck you off. If, if there's any buildings left, they'll chuck you off it. Chuck you off of it. They'll chuck you off it. If yes. there's any left after Israel yes. have been in... Oh, Netanyahu, but it's the, same, it's the same as uh, it, it, it makes me laugh. I see him make a few videos, and there's this bloke. He's an English chap, dark hair, and um, he was at one of the parades, which was uh, about refugees, housing refugees. And he's got this clipboard. Oh, he's seen fa- him. Oh, it makes walks f- up to him and he's like, "Fucking fantastic! I've got some. Uh, I'm taking names down for someone that's got a spare room. Would or you? Would a you, rent? Would you, oh, rent. Uh, oh, actually, no. Sorry, no, I can't because I'm renting. Oh, well, all right then. He yeah, goes yeah. to the next one. He's, he, and he's it, like, it, it's just. It's virtue it's a signaling. mind virus. Yeah. It's, it's people virtue signaling. What did you do at the weekend, Margaret? Oh, oh went we to went the, to the um, went pro, to pro teachers pro, march yeah. outside yeah, down yeah. the street. We went to a march to, to welcome the immigrants. Welcome yes. here. They're not. 
then uh, I support immigration. Yep. I support positive immigration. Yes. Right? So if we, we are the fifth, you mentioned earlier, the fifth biggest economy in the world, mm -hmm. tiny little island, 65 million, mm -hmm. the fifth biggest, mm -hmm. that's fucking, we're punching above Phenomenal. our weight. Phenomenal. Yeah, we are massively punching above our weight. You can't get doctors. You can't, I'm not saying this is all immigration's fault. What I'm saying is, we need people in the country that are going to do a job. The NHS is on its fucking knees. On its knees. Like, the infrastructure's on its knees. There's yeah, no yeah, doctors. Yeah. Like you've said, you can't even get a dentist. Can't get a dentist. I can't get a dentist. My parents can't get a dentist. They worked all their fucking life. No, you can't get schools. You can't get doctors, hospital appointments. Yeah, it, it, it goes on and on and on. Nurseries. You fucking can't even get your kids into that. Whatever. It goes on and on and on and on and on. And these people, the first thing they do is claim, um, well, one thing, they're getting put in a fucking hotel. We've got veterans on the fucking streets. It fucking annoys me. There's a certain amount of people I do think that... Haven't helped themselves? No, haven't helped themselves. However, COVID solved fucking homelessness. It did, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. There wasn't any. There wasn't. Putin, fucking hell, he was the one who started it again. COVID... Putin finished COVID. As soon as he kicked off in Ukraine, nobody knew about COVID. It ended. It, it ended. Overnight. The, drawn a line under that one, son. Done. Done and dusted. Cheers, Putin. Like, you know what I mean? That, that's what it seemed like. But the homelessness crisis we have got, and it is a crisis. Mm. We've got a cost of living crisis. Why have we got a cost of living crisis? Because they printed money out of thin yeah, air yeah, for COVID, yeah. and yeah. now they want it all back. Of course they do. And everyone's moaning, but they were fucking quick they enough were. to take they it. They were, and they the bounce back quick. loans and yes. this and that and the other. Yeah, yeah. And how many people fucking scammed the system? Oh, man. But the, the, the migration them. that's coming in. If I walked into a foreign country illegally, I would fully expect to be detained indefinitely. Sent back. Either sent back or my asylum claim until my asylum claim was processed. In this country, they come in. We'll put you in a fucking hotel. We'll give you a mobile. We'll give you a bank card with however many pounds on it. Go and see that lady there. She'll register with such and such charity. That one, that one, that one. That one. They're all fucking better off. They all vanish into the into the the underground society of getting paid cash in hand by uh, Albanian fucking drug gangs and all the fucking and and that's the that's the truth of it. But because it's not outside Lineker's house and not fucking down Mayfair. They don't believe it's going on. They don't believe it is going on. They don't at care. All. No. They don't care. They don't care because it's not on their fucking doorstep. But it's all right for everybody else to suffer. And it's got to stop. I want immigration in Great Britain because we lose a certain amount every year. Of course we do. We don't have... British people don't have um, enough children. No. We don't have... And, and, and I have nothing against... Any race, religion, creed, or fucking colour. If you are a good person and you are willing to come here and pull your weight and pull your weight and pay into society, good on you. Fucking come. crack on. Keep coming. Yep. Because we've too many lazy fucking English bastards anyway. One hundred percent. Someone said to me on a post, I mentioned Carlu, Romanian chap works for me. He's a fucking grafter, really hard worker. You should start and I, I, I I put him in the tractor, and the first time he's ever driven a tractor in his fucking life. I'm like, right, just drive up there, fucking scoop that shit out, or whatever else. I had this little video, fucking earned me 30, 40 quid, or whatever it did. Why don't you, Glenn, what was his name? Glenn, Glenn Summit, his name were in the comments. Why don't you start employing some of our own instead of foreigners? Fucking, that's what I did. Your mm. eyes just went boom. That's what I did. I just went, all right, fucking hold on it. So I messaged him back. I said, Glenn, I expect a video on this. Don't you fucking... He deleted the comment straight away because he knew I was going to fucking destroy him, right? So I did a video on it and I said, the reason I, I am, I'll employ anybody as long as the legitimate, which Carlo is, he showed me his national insurance number and everything else. He's been here seven years. He speaks good English. He's got a family. He rents a house with his children and his wife and all the rest of it, right? He works damn fucking hard. If I said to him, do you want to work on a Saturday and a Sunday? If you work, I work. That's all he says. I said, there's too many English. There's a video on, uh, we had a power cut. Carlo went and found a head torch. He's boning fucking um, bellies of poor cow. <laughs> in the dark with the head torch on. <laughs> An English guy that sat down and moaned that the, the power went on so he could have a cup of tea while he was fucking sat down. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're Carlo right. cracked on. 
call who cracked on. There's too many fucking idle bastards pointing the finger in Great Britain saying it's not being a victim, a victim mm -hmm. of society. A victim mindset. Yeah. So, um, one thing that, I, what you were talking about, about the 65 million, the next party political, you know, establishment that comes on and says, this number is when Great Britain is full, they've got my attention. Mm. Because there has to be a number. And nobody's come out and said that. Are we full at 65 mil or are we full at 70? Are we no, full I at think, 80 or I 90 or 100? I think we're full at 62. I do. We can't... The housing crisis... Fucking hell. This is me listening to social... Uh, mainstream media. Yeah. Crisis, 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 yes. crisis. Fuck off. It's not all a crisis, right? There's not enough houses. There's not enough houses. There's not, there's not enough houses. Build some more. We're trying to build more and more and more. Whose fault is it? Every man and the dog who voted Remain will say it's Brexit. Yeah. It's not Brexit. It was Labour's from the 90s. Yeah. It's, it, it, it becomes a fad and a trend to blame a fucking a different group of people at a yep. different time in life. It's not. It's the fact we just haven't fucking built them yet. Right? And, and we can't keep up with it demand. It takes time to build houses. Of course it fucking does. <laughs> yeah. And land. And money. Land. Where's the land coming from? Right. The, the land in Great Britain is... We, we need, we've got to feed ourselves. We can't keep importing all this food. Like we, we need, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think we're full. I think we're full. But there's also the people that leave the UK every year. I don't know. I think I heard it was 700,000 people migrate out of the UK every year. And, uh, but then that's still overtaken by positive immigration mm -hmm. for the UK, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is fine. They're mm -hmm. coming in legitimately. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Fucking get yourselves in, girls and boys. We fucking need you here. Mm. We need you mm. here. We really do. Mm. We need your expertise. Like, without growing ours, we need to bring other people in. I, I honestly genuinely do think that. Yeah, no, um, definitely. To get the best healthcare system, we're fucking miles away from it. Miles away. And pumping money into... I'm not a doctor, as you fucking... I'm a shithouse farmer from up north. But pumping money into the NHS... It's not the answer. It's not the answer. It's not. It's not the answer at all. It's like it's like it shuts people up for six months. It does, and it gets you re-elected, which yeah, is yeah, all they're yeah. interested in. We put eight billion. But it's in. like try, it's like have you ever seen those people? Like you know, they've got a bucket. The, wa the water's coming in the ship faster, yeah, yeah. and they're getting the bucket. Going, it's all right. We're all right. Yeah, yeah. You're not all right. No, it needs radical change. It's broken. It's broken. You I need mean, that. I, get I your go go home, doctor. I've had a doctor come on here, and he says I watched a bit of him, they actually. still use a pager system for doctors. Fucking hell! A pager. pager. So so he might have six or seven different pages. He has to go to a phone, ring up, see what it is. There's no categorization of this person needs this or whatever it is. They're still using that. Then then after the shift or whatever, they all have to go and have this debrief about what's happened. And he said, this could be completely tra transformed with one app. Yeah, yeah. One app, one app could yeah. be designed and it, it gets rid of that bottleneck. They use pages. They haven't even got to buy anybody a phone. Everyone's no, got their own. everyone's got a phone. Everyone's got their own. Just download the app. I fucking, mate, it's cost, uh, t today I bought a Samsung fucking tablet, whatever it fuck. I don't even know what it fucking is. I don't know how to operate the fucking <laughs> thing. My cousin's going to set it up. That's for the business. Yep. So we can walk around with the tablet in our hand See all our orders. Yep. See what's coming in. See what I need to buy. Yep. The, the lads can fucking find out what they need to start prepping up for next week. Blah, 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 blah. You're running out of boxes. Right, go and fucking order them off there. That's the website. Go and order a load of boxes. Right. And I'm just... I'm just a fucking shithouse like. And, and, it, the, the, and this, this is, is a professional organisation. The, the most important... Organisation in the organization country. Organisation in the country. country. Yeah. And they're still using pages. It's run by fucking idiots. Again, it's managers managing managers. Yep. There should be a bloke. I remember, I fucking hell, I got sepsis in my knee. Fucking hell, it was just after COVID and all, mate, right? <laughs> You've fucking, had some fucking life, mate. I tell you something, right? <laughs> I fucking get so. So it was, it was, it was December, mate, and it, it was snowing on this Saturday. We, we'd spray a load of render on. It's fucking snow all over the scaffolding, whatever else. Anyway, spray this render on. Then we're going back Sunday morning to scrape the render back. Wakes up at half one in the morning. His fucking knee is out here. It's tight. It's red hot. I'm fucking sweating, but I'm freezing. And I'm laid in bed. I'm like, fucking hell, it's gone off. I'm like, fucking hell. I get out of bed. And he's going to fetch the dog. He can live in the garage, like, fucking got his own little... He's got a lovely setup in there. He's got heater and lot, blankets, everything. <laughs> so I went and fetched the dog, mate. Put the dog in the bed. I was 
fucking shaking, right? Put the dog in the bed, joggers on, fucking hoodie, the lot, towels, blankets. So anyway, dogs, I fucking say it's shaking. Rings gaff like, mate, I can't come in. I said, my leg's fucking massive. Took a picture, showed him. He's like, you've been out on the piss. You have, you fucking fell over. I was like, mate, I fucking haven't. Well, get yourself to hospital then. So I get myself to emergency doctor. That She's like, body temperature. I think I went down to like 34. And then she's like, oh, you're nearly hypothermic, like. I said, well, snow's not helping, and me being in shorts, because I couldn't get fucking trousers on yeah. either. She says, get yourself to the hospital. Well, my body had gone into shock or something. This is what she was telling me. Like. And I was fucking out of breath. So I get to the fucking door of the main hospital, and you've got some tart there, some fucking healthcare worker, not even a fucking nurse, not, not fuck all, not fuck all, like. You've got COVID. I said, I've got a letter here explaining I've been tested, and I haven't got COVID, so don't put me on the fucking COVID section. Fuck off, I don't give a shit about your note. I don't think she didn't tell me to fuck off. She goes, I don't care about what letter you've got. You've got COVID, you're out of breath. You're not a doctor, you're not, you're not a fucking nurse. You, you're some bitch who empties bins and puts bandages on. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> fuck off. Get over there into the COVID center. I said, don't put me in there, love. I said, I'm just, I'm, look, I've got, I don't care about your letter, get over there. So anyway, there's a bloke actually dying in corner with COVID and I'm sat in this room thinking, I'll be fucking, I'm going to, that's it, it's over. It's over. I've got all this time without getting it. Now I'm going to fucking get it. This bloke, <laughs> he's coughing lungs up and all sorts of things. Boy, he's fucking, he's in bits. So I, this fucking nurse is walking by. I says, do I says, get me a test, will you? She's like, well, I says, I haven't got it. Some woman out there won't believe I haven't got it, but it says it here I ain't got it. Does a test, comes back. No, you ain't got it. I says, right, get me out of here now. Get me. Anyway, puts this fucking drip in. Yeah, it got sepsis. How I got it? Two fluid sacs in your knee. Both of mine, they're exploded and got fucking infection in them. Right. But it's like, I'm in that A&E department, right? And it's fucking full. And they're not COVID patients because they, they move you straight onto the COVID section if you've got COVID. Mm -hmm. Kids with fucking Sunday morning, like, or it'd be afternoon by then, they're coming in with like sprained ankles. So and so is fucking not happy with this or that. And, and, and it's bullshit. They're there for nothing. Like, my, my mother would have gone, fuck off, go out and play. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And, it, and there should be a doctor in there just saying, what's your football sprained ankle? Bag of peas, son. Tubular bandage. And fuck off. Fuck off. If you can't walk on it by Wednesday, get yourself back in. We'll have a proper look at it. Until then, fuck off. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Can limping in. All right, you're putting pressure on it. Fuck off. <sighs> I mean, snap my finger. Bash, pull it back in. Strap it up. Fuck off. There needs to be a go home doctor. There's too many. Because all the. It's the same with these fucking single mums and all in it. Oh, fucking so and so's got a temperature. At the Royal Hospital again. <laughs> What's the matter, babe? Oh, I'll PM you. They just want attention. I'm sure half of them go like just so they can fucking put the post on Facebook, like just for that bit of attention. Staged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a temperature yeah. we're going today. Yeah. Eh? But There's nothing wrong with them. You fucking get down there. Uh, poor shit. You're ill tomorrow. <laughs> Don't forget that. Right. Okay. Look, man. I'm conscious of the time now. Yeah, I've got to pick my daughter up from work. Fucking hell. Half past nine. Better go to bed at nine. <laughs> Rob. What a pleasure it's what been. What a fucking pleasure. Any time you want to come back, because I think we've got many more hours probably of so. conversation. Yeah, probably so. Fuck so it it's Frustrated Farmer. Get on the uh, website. Get on buy the website. Some meat. Yeah, frustratedfarmer.co.uk. Um, um, give us a like and a follow, Facebook and TikTok. TikTok, Facebook. And, uh, yeah, they're my main ones, Instagram. Yeah. I'm trying to get a bit bigger on that. Yeah, and, it's tough um, there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's more one. lifestyle, I think, that yeah. than anything else. Showing off. Showing off. Look, look what I've got sort of thing. And I'm not really that guy. Yeah, you're not that man. But no. you are a unique man with a great story and a yeah, good outlook so. on life. Yeah, and no bullshit. Uh, no bullshit. And, and I think that's it. what works on TikTok. Yeah, we want honesty. That's all we want. Yeah. It don't matter where you are, what you're from and what you have or haven't done. Just be straight. 100%. Just be fucking straight and you'll be liked. Simple as that. Mate. Anyway, thanks. Fucking pleasure. Oh. We need a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs>